Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Or 59.94 frames a second. <laughs> Technically. Um, Rounding up, yes. <laughs> and staying true to that motto, we have an exclusive world debut mm -hmm. of Carl G's new game, Space Venture, Yay. on the 7800. Nice. Uh, and we're also going to be playing another game by Carl G called Cosmic Cabbie that we haven't played on the show yet, uh, even though it's been out a tiny little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also going to be playing an update, cute, to Wizard's Dungeon, and this oh, time on excellent. Uh, the uh, Dragonfly, so hopefully it won't crash. <laughs> nice. So we're playing three 7800 games. Yes, it's a 7800 yes. Friday. Yes. Right, Atari? Yeah. yeah, he's so excited. I want to thank uh, the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. 8 Bit Swami, Alan the Fur Arms Car, Coder, uh, Canadian Tenor, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Drexel, Amy Dan, Great Defender, Grenoms, Ground Trooper, Ojo Rapper, Johnny WC, Juan Urato, Jupiter Storm, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Kai Gandor, Leo the Low, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, Make Muse, Miscommend, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Mr. Zarna, Whoopa, Muddy Funster, Nathan's Drum, Pack Rat, Fiji, Kohog, Tar C70, Repentless, Fiji, Ricardo Pim, Six We, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Tifos, Trek MD, and uh, just before the show, Cafe Man 2D, resubscribed. Whew. I think that's the longest list we've ever had. Yeah, somebody it's, it's, else resubscribed as well just before the show. Cafe Man TV. There's Cafe Man and oh, oh somebody might else have did. scrolled off the screen or something. No, it was. I think it was after him. Oh. Oh, somebody was going to. Oh, I so see. So we'll be awaiting that. Okay. Um. <laughs> so thank you for all the subs. It's incredible. The ongoing support, and you can support the show for free uh, if you link your. Twit or your Amazon Prime to your Twitch mm -hmm. Prime and click subscribe or make sure you resubscribe if you didn't see your name on the list and you're used to hearing your name on the list because sometimes it doesn't let you know um, and also make sure you follow subscribe and click like and all the things because we do have special shows once in a while and I post about them on Facebook I post about every show um, so mail news feedback um, there was an article featuring Howard Scott Warshaw. Mm -hmm. um, and you're like, he's not a homebrew developer. <laughs> Why are you talking about Howard Scott Warshaw? Um, well, he made uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, mm -hmm. E.T., and Yar's Revenge mm -hmm. for the 2600. So he's a... Your lappy just freaked out. Oh. Um, so he's a renowned uh, programmer for the 2600. There you go. It uh, shut down. Because the uh, no, screensaver kicked in. Sleep, yeah. um, uh, but there was a Wired article on him uh, recently. And here it is. Um, it was titled, Howard Scott Warshaw Pleads Gu Not Guilty to Killing Video Games. And and he, he got an article written up primarily, primarily because he put out a new book, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done. Yeah, getting through it's it. It's really, really good. I think anybody who is listening to this show... Mm that demographic, which is very specific, <laughs> would definitely enjoy this. A lot of uh, history, about mm. uh, 2600, uh, mostly about Atari, and specifically about um, E.T. and the other games that he made while at Atari. Nice. But that's not why I bring it up. Um, it's because during the interview, this is what You read all that, said. right? As it flew by? No. <laughs> you can read it on your own. Um, do you miss game dev? I wired asked. From the way you write about it in the book, it seems that you do in some primal way. Would you go back to game dev if somebody offered you the proverbial keys to the kingdom to do so? And he said, I would definitely think about it. I have a design to do. There is a game that I designed back at Atari for Yar's Revenge sequel nice. that I never ended up doing, and I still have it after all this time. I never, I've never seen this gameplay done anywhere. And I think it would be fun, dynamic gameplay. So I do think I probably will mm. in the next couple of years. Grab a homebrew, which is, he's very punny. If you read his book, it's yeah. just puns and puns and puns. Yeah. So grab a beer. Uh, yeah. Grab a homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get somebody to program the game, which is very strange because he says in his book that is, or in the article, I get them mixed up, 
that his favorite programming language is assembly. So I'm not sure why he would get somebody else to write it. Just time, maybe. Yeah. He has a he's he's has a full time job as a um, therapist. Oh, um, so that's, that's what he does cool. now. Yeah. Um, uh, get somebody to program the game, and I'll do the design and direct the development and put another game out. That would be very. Cool. I think it would be a fun thing. It's hard to get games out of your blood. Yeah. And this it goes a bit further as well into it. Um, we kind of touched on this bit a bit earlier, but what would Yars two have been uh, if you continue development on it instead of shifting to work in the original saboteur concept, which is actually a good game as well. Uh, well, I can tell you the basic idea was it was a very frenetic gameplay. The concept was going to be that the Yar Yarian Olympics, that was going to be the title. So there you go. There's the name of it. Mm. He probably can't use Yar, but maybe he can. Mm. Eh. He can change it a bit. That was going to be the title. The idea was that there was this was a skill development scene that you used to prepare Yars to go fight, to go f to go fight S. Mm. This was like a training ground for your Yars. And Wired says, well, that in today's terminology, it would be a prequel. Then you were doing prequel before prequels were a thing. Exactly. That's the Yars prequel. Interesting. So there is the outlying, uh, there's the, the, the outline, concept, the concept of. of the game yeah. that he has. That's cool. So, you know, maybe it'll happen yeah. sooner than later. Who that knows? would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, I have not seen his documentary. Somebody asked if his book is similar to the documentary because there's a documentary called Once Upon Atari. So mm. I will have to watch that. Um, and he said in the article, I believe, that, yeah, you did it. You did Once Upon Atari, mm. but he felt it it um, most didn't focus enough on, like it didn't go in depth on him. Mm. And so there's a lot about him in the book and stories about him. So I think this is a, bit, a lot more in depth. Of course, it's a book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what they tend to be, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so if you've seen Once Upon an Atari, you probably would get a lot out of this mm. um, by reading it as well. Oh, uh, Bido says, uh, uh, you must watch. Okay, mm -hmm. I will go look for it. I have the DVDs. I've probably watched each episode a dozen times. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, seen it. Very good. Excellent. Um, so maybe that'll happen. Hopefully that will happen. Um, and we can At see some point, yeah. another uh, new game by an old master. Yeah. Because Yars, Yars Revenge is considered to be one of the best uh, Atari 2600 games. It's yes. a lot of action yes. going on. Yeah. Um, so we've got a, a demo from Muddy Funster that he put out not too long ago. Uh, he said, uh, here's a testable binary for the walker demo. It doesn't do much. You can move the walker and the walker crosshairs. And you need an ST or Amiga mouse for this to work. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a mouse. It's on order, the mm. adapter, so I can hook up a mouse to it. Someone's just wondering the link to the article. Sure. Yeah. I'll post that in there. Yeah. Since you have it right there. Yep. <laughs> Boom. You might as well. Ah. Ah. There we go. Might as well. There you there go. There you go. Um, so let's uh, boot up this uh, and show it off. Hmm. There we go. Very briefly. It's just, it's just a demo. Oh. Ready. Uh, okay, so let's go to the Atari 7800. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, that would help if I turned on the Frame Meister so it captures it all. Oh, mm. yeah, I could have a problem there. <laughs> and can you imagine how he felt when the industry crashed and ET was the game that blame, blamed for it? Yeah. yeah. He has gone back and forth, going owning it, and then going, nope, and then owning it. Yeah. And it's kind of a notoriety thing. He yeah. likes that it's... Because he's praised a lot for Yar's Revenge. So he always says, I've made the best game for the 2600 yeah. and the worst game for the 2600. <laughs> it's kind of like a calling card for yeah. him. But I, I mean, that was a lot more timing than anything else, really. What is happening? I think I have it on the wrong input. Oh, no. Because I think I switched it over. Let's see if this gives a... Yeah, E.T. was a symptom, not screen. the cause. No. Uh, it was a symptom, yes, yes. That's correct. Okay, something is uh, misbehaving. But I think I can... Nothing you can see, anything. but we can see there's a big black screen, so that's not really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see if it's coming up on the TV. 
Yeah, the E.T. narrative is stupid. Yeah, he, he goes into the book. Oh, okay, so I can see it there. Yeah, that's uh, being silly. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to trance her over and see if I can get this going mm -hmm. myself. Which Exciting I black to. screen. And you guys see a black screen, but it should be coming up shortly. I'm just rebooting the hardware, which usually does it. Fingers crossed. Come here. Maybe. Come here. He's trying to fix it. Come on. Come on, Atari. <laughs> Come on. Oh, 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 you almost sat on him. <laughs> no, I did. Oh. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. Hooray. Trying to reboot it and do a software reboot on it. So, um, you don't. You need a mouse to use to move the crosshairs. You can. Um, oh, what the hell? It's kind of emulating a mouse. Okay. Not very much. Very. It's just like jiggling back and forth. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Jiggly mouse. Jiggly mouse. Okay, can you hold that for a second? Yep, sure. Um, but in port two, it moves. Oh, because I did Atari oh. box in port two. So many things. Um, port two does move. If you go up and down on port two, you can move the walker back and forth. Oh, neat. And he's going to use a joystick and a mouse as controller. And he's mm. also proposing uh, a rollerball as well for the aiming. So he's going to have a bunch of different inputs, possibly. Um, move your walker using up and down. Yep, I know that sounds odd, but I had the idea that you would have your controller rotated 90 degrees. You could hold it in one hand, mouse in the other. Using up and down to move the walker, left to right to trigger other things. I'm not this, sure how this is working, but... Where's your... Oh, it's kind of moving it. That's super odd. <laughs> it run, runs diagonally. Try, try it the other way. Yeah, it goes up and down. <laughs> it, it must... Oh, you kind of got it going... I know. Oh, funny. Oh, what is this? It's okay. like emulating mouse movements. Um... <laughs> If you ever, if this ever became a real game, I'd put in the options for different types of control screen, schemes, including okay, shh, shh that's very noisy, <laughs> including trackball and folks <laughs> not using regular game pads. Mm. How about support for my uh, um, drawing pad? That'd be good for aiming, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's absolute yeah. Uh, uh, aiming for the whole screen. Mm. I don't know if that would work like that. It would be, it would act like two paddles. Um, yeah, that would, that would totally work. Um, but this idea is on the back burner for something uh, once I'm done EXO and Bernie. But right now it's just a tech demo, no game, but the animation is... Is really cool. Is gorgeous. Yeah. And the, the you know, the little, the bottom. Yeah. little troops walking by. Yeah. I, I guess you're supposed to shoot the troops. I'm not sure. Yeah. But the graphics are amazing and uh, the animation is very, very smooth. And you know Muddy Funster's going to oh, do... look at the head. A super... Oh my god. Oh, nice. So it does have a little extra stuff when you're moving around. I don't know if you can fire yet. It doesn't say you could fire, but we don't have a mouse. Try the buttons. No, no. Okay. We can't fire yet. Okay. Away from that. Um, Congo Bongo nice. is coming to the 2600 and 7800. Both being done by Splendid Nut. Oh, cool. uh, right now they're in proof of concept mm. uh, level. I'm going to show you the 2600 first. Okay. And then we're going to look at the 7800 versions. Cool. So we can contrast and compare. And he's going to be working on both at the same time because he says there is some uh, crossover um, for the logic of them so that he's able to reuse some of the logic which is awesome. So let's uh, switch over to that. If you want to load that up, when it comes up, there you go. Today's date. And so, yep. <laughs> Load it up. I'm like, which Said, day is it today? Well, ended up going down the rabbit hole with this. I started looking through my in-progress disassembly of Congo Bongo, starting the debate uh, whether to uh, hack, do a hack of the original 2600 game, or mm -hmm. start from scratch. You can move around. 
Uh, while I do enjoy the 2600 version and it would be relatively easy to do some hacking and cleanup on that, it doesn't quite have the flexibility to add, easily add levels. So I'd probably have to start from scratch and le lean more towards the arcade. So I ended up doing a quick mock-up of level one to show what it could look like. Uh, adding the water to the scene would take quite a bit of figuring out, which he, he already did. Um, but probably uh, some form of mid-screen color changes. I think the other levels could easily be drawn in a similar fashion, and then they would all be using the same display engine, unlike the original 2600 version. So that is uh, his mock-up um, of the first level mm. uh, for the 2600, and it looks pretty good for using Playfield and having an isometric view mm -hmm. of a game because, you know... The playfield is fairly chunky. It only has a resolution of 40 across, and some of that's not even being used. Um, and so this is the first first level of it, and there's there's monkeys and coconuts being thrown and a, a big monkey at the top uh, of the mm. game. I, I, I had it... I would never really played Congo Bongo too much. I played it on the C64 a little bit, never in the arcade. Uh, it was described, I read recently it was described as like another kind of version of Donkey Kong. Because you're oh, trying to get okay. up, up, you know, up past platforms? the levels to get to the top, right? Yeah, okay. Past, li literally, like the barrels are coconuts in this. Mm. And, I mean, there's monkeys and stuff too. But uh, he has got a graphic for the uh, second level. Hmm that he's done. So I'll show you that as soon as uh, the bar in the top goes away. There we go. So that is the graphic for the second level. Nice. And you're like hopping over water and mm -hmm. other obstacles. And there's a third level as well. I think there's only three. It might be four. Gotcha. Um, Cafe Man 2D says, I thought he was going to put in the OG version. This look, one looks quite authentic so far, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That would have blown people's minds back in the day. Really nice use of playfield. Mm -hmm. It is like the 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 staggered use of color is mm -hmm. being used in a lot of a lot of games now. Like we saw it in Xevious. Yes. Yeah. The kind of oh, one yeah. color, the next color, the next color, mm -hmm. and I think he's just using two two al two alternating colors. Yeah. Just brown, then then. Um, then a uh, blue, brown, blue, brown, blue, mm -hmm. and using playfield, and then the other color underneath as the background, and you can see it bleeding out into the edges. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he'll extend it to the right some more, and then do a a blank of uh, black on the left when he's got that done. So let's take a look at the 7800 version of it. So many inputs I have to change when I do this. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, change the TV to that. Then change over to the 7800. Then reboot the 7800. Congo Bongo. Loading file. Turn on the console. Switch over the input. Which I did. And there we go. There's the 7800. If you'd like to that while well, you issues. fiddle with that, I she's know. having issues. So obviously, uh, you can get a lot of more uh, graphics out of a 7800. So there's your dude. There's some monkeys hanging around. Uh, oh. oh, lots of monkeys. And there's the big uh, big guy at the top. Yeah. Uh oh, the laptop is. Does it have any battery? No, it has batteries. Okay, just leave out the... I don't know what's going on. Laptop's dying. It's no, not good. No, laptop dying. It's a plug. It's been oh. chewed by a few too many cats. Plug's out, though. And I it's, know. And it's turning off. Well... So it's not the plug. No. Doing live diagnosis. <sighs> so it's got some XY coordinates there. Just don't touch it. No, I... And we'll it'll see what hopefully happens. not go off. We'll see what happens. So he's got the playfield all mapped out so you can uh, move around and it has borders mm. and you can go off the borders <laughs> a little bit. Mm. So most of it's mapped and when you're climbing up, he does a, a, a little bit slower. Hey, 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 come on. This is the culprit right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the monkeys don't move. There's Not no yet. barrels yet. No. Because it's just a proof of concept. Oh, it's and, cute. And the usually, monkeys are cute too. And usually when you do a proof of concept, you kind of throw everything at yeah. it. Like the maximum. Mm. I mean, he doesn't have the barrels yet, but he's got animated water and cool. the play field. So it looks... The controls are they're fine. Like you move left, he goes left, you move right, move down. It's isometric, so that can mm. throw people off a little bit. So you have to like that. Kind of have to angle it a bit, <laughs> so that and which is which. Let's see. So that. Oh, now I'm way off the play field. Way off. Climb up. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it's like this yeah. kind of. It's like the. Marble Madness. Yep. Well, actually, Marble Madness is normal. It's Because it's a rollerball. Yeah. Um, unless you're using a joystick for it, which is a terrible idea. Um, it's more like Qbert. Yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure in the arcades, they had a four-way joystick that is angled. Like, you can't press up. You can yeah. only go, go on those 45 on the degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Zaxxon as well is a isometric. Yeah. yeah. It's a... Why didn't Atari have these games right out of the gate for the 7800? Years of delay, mm. um, other systems caught on faster. Mm -hmm. They didn't, couldn't afford the licenses at that point. They were just reusing like arcade licenses they already owned to try and save money. Mm. Myriad of things. I'm sure you can delve into that quite a bit. Yeah. Um, so that is Congo Bongo in progress, which is very exciting. <laughs> um, and this one, he says, here's an early attempt at the graphics engine for Congo Bongo. I've worked on this mainly over the past week. This morning, I finally decided the ability to have movable sprite, Bongo himself. So there you go. Uh, so I figured it'd be a good time to show off for the engine. is currently using a 160A graphics mode. The cliff side is using an indirect character mode. The water, the trees, the bridge, and the skull are applied as decal sprites over top of that. Then Bongo is added at the end. At the top, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Uh, I don't know much about Congo Bongo. <laughs> Generate the graphics. I'm using an artwork processing tool that I've developed. The tool lets me easily convert images I've cut, copy pasted from the arcade screenshot. It currently generates a tile set, tile map usable with a style engine. So far, it only generates 160A graphics, but I'd eventually like to get all working for all the graphics modes. 160B is next on the table, which is needed to improve the appearance of Bongo. I really need to learn about all the graphics modes for the 7800 because there's 160A, 160B, there's a 320 mode, but I'm not sure what that means in terms of color resolution and mm -hmm. pixel size and color depth and, and things like that. The industry was collapsing at the time the 7800 was being developed. Yeah, it was 80, 83, 84 mm. time. Yeah. Um, so on to our first game, yes. which is a space adventure by Carl G. Um, so let me reboot. No, I don't even need to reboot. You just kind of load up the next game and then press the power again. It's really kind of cool. Uh, the dragonfly, the way it works. Mm. I'll turn off the 7600. Okay. That is not the right game. You guys didn't see it anyway. So. <laughs> uh, space Venture. There we go. So, the name comes from Adventure from the 2600. Now, we've played oh, okay, a yeah. number of adventure-type adventure games, type games yeah. on the 2600. So this is Adventure in Space. space. Nice. So uh, let me read a little bit about it, and then we'll get into it. Um, so this is an exclusive world premiere. He has not even posted about this. So oh, it's very exciting that cool. we get to play this first. Um, Carl G has made... The game's Cannons, Cosmic Cabbie, which we'll play later. Mm -hmm. Toy Shop Terminator, Space Game, Penult, which he's still working on for the 2600. Mm. RC Sumo Bots, uh, Raindrops, Robot Tag, Space Debris, Space Venture, and Witch's Tower. Mm -hmm. um, some of those are demo games for the Quadtari mm -hmm. that we played. Um, so he says, here's the latest build of the game, which is now winnable. Uh, and here's the ROM and the intro text. Game info, a dangerous rift in the pocket dimension. I'll actually get so you can uh, move around a little bit. Let's try 
try and get it so that guy is not on top of you. <laughs> there we go. So you're not immediately dying. Run! Run, Forrest. What am I supposed to do? Um, I'll tell you in a bit. Just, oh, okay. just play around until I read this. A dangerous rift to the pocket dimension has been growing for many years, and the ships sent by the Galactic Empire to fix it have all been sucked into the rift before completing their missions. Your mission is different. You've been asked purposefully uh, to purposefully enter the rift and fix the rift from the other side. To do this, you must locate the energy cube lost in a previous mission and drop it into the rift to fix the dimensional rupture. Based on the information from scans into the pocket dimension, this will be no easy task. The pocket dimension is full of energy barriers and odd environments not yet understood by the Empire's greatest scientists. There are strange creatures that may attack your ship and steal... Oh, that looks like a good thing. Transfigurator. Hmm. Uh, that may attack your ship or steal its equipment. In addition to the energy cube, there's likely to be other technologies scattered through this dimension from the previous failed missions. But note that your ship only has the power and cargo space to install one upgrade at a time. Good luck with your mission. The Galactic Empire is counting on you. Uh, adventure with Asteroids Physics. Now, you do have momentum. Mm -hmm. um, it is a four-way. You don't turn. There's, it's not like thrust physics where you have to turn mm -hmm. and then go in a direction. Up is up. Down is down. Left is left. Right mm -hmm. is right. Thank goodness. Um, now, this is a two-button game. One of the buttons drops and picks up things. Okay. Well, actually, just drops. Drops. Things. You yeah. automatically pick I, up I things. picked it up, so. So try and drop it right now because you can pick it up again. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what. Ah! <laughs> he stole my thing. Well, that's actually good because try the other button. No, not that one. The oh. other one. There. Oh, I have a laser. Yep. Oh, so I want the laser cannon. You definitely want the laser cannon. You want to take out all the baddies with that first. Uh, you're actually very lucky. You got the laser cannon as early as you did. Space bat. That is the space bat. I don't think you can shoot that guy, but you can try. Ah. Shoot that guy. Is he going to come after me? Well, if you wait too long, you'll... Shoot him, shoot him. Ah! Shoot him. He's eating you. No, you no, because I you can only shoot one once. Okay, well. So run, I run shot away. and You're way too close to him. I don't know how to get rid of him. What do I do? Press reset. Oh. Oh, so I have nothing? You have nothing. You have to go back to where ah. you were. And your weapon is where you were. So I would highly recommend you go back to get your weapon. Ah. And not run into that guy. I know what I know not so to run wanna, into him. So you want to But wanna, I don't know where my weapon is. Well, where were you? Wasn't I? Oh, I, so oh, it drops where I, I last was. Yeah. I don't know where it dropped. I think you were up to the right. Up one more. Up one. I was. Uh -huh. Shoot him! Shoot him! I don't want to shoot him. I don't want to go anywhere near him. Once you shoot him, he's dead. Yeah, but I only get one shot, and then I have to ha run away from him, so I well. can't be too close to him. Um. Now, Crossbow on Facebook pointed out that unfortunately, yeah, there's a very high-profile game. Yeah. Already being made with the name Space Venture. Oh, no. Like really high profile in oh. that game. Um, also without the space, because this is Space Venture uh, with the two capitals. It's being made by the original authors of Space Quest, mm. which is a point and click adventure. Um, made by Scott Murphy and Mark Crow. So if anybody has suggestions for a new name that Carl G may want to use... Um, he probably wants to keep the homage. He's going to steal. I know. Oh, he stole your blaster. And now what do I have? I have something I don't even care. An orange, orange transponder. transponder. What is that worth? Resetting his adventure style it brings the space blobs back to life and you drop your last uh, items whenever, wherever you were reset. Yeah. Oh, Carl G says, oh, I didn't know about that one. It's a working title. I'm fine with renaming it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Yeah. So... Something about space, something about adventure. But you could probably substitute the word space. Like cosmic venture or star venture Maybe. or planetary venture. Yeah. What are some of the words? Celestial venture. Celestial venture. <laughs> I don't know. Galactic venture. Uh, what other words have you used in here? Uh, nope. 
Oh. Yeah, those are some decent ones. Adventure in the Pocket Dimension. There you go. Yeah, apparently Space Quest is returning. Spancher. <laughs> Spancher. <laughs> yeah, so I played this just a tiny bit just so... Because it's, it's, it doesn't give like full information. So what you really want to do is get the gun, shoot, shoot those, those blobs. Because they're dead once they're then dead. Then you're safe. Get that. Get it. The good ah! thing is that he wants to steal. Ah! He wants to steal what oh you have. Oh my God. So go get that gun. No. Don't you have the gun? No, I don't. No, he didn't. Oh, there it is. Get the gun. Okay. Oh, he switched with the other thing. No, he dropped it. I, I... Shoot it. Hooray! Oh, thank goodness. Once? That's One it? down. Just once? You need to behave like a good cat. Why are you so hyper? Hmm? Yay. Two down. Yay. I don't know how many there are, though. <laughs> are transponders the keys? Maybe. We have to, we have to figure There's this out. There's a green thing with the, the thingy. Now, I figured out what the green thing and the orange, like the orange round thing and the green round thing are for. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I want to tell you. <laughs> Might want to figure it out. It, like, does it get you in there? The yes. green thing? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, since you've shot mm. the guys, well, I, I don't know. If I don't know dead. if you've shot all of them. There. So I can put that there. That's and a I can good Go spot. back for the green guy. Yeah. Because that was here. So there's a green orb and an orange orb, and there's a green barrier and an, an orange barrier. barrier. So that is almost the extent i figured out oh since you've got the green orb it's it goes away i don't now this is what the um magnet is equivalent to this the is the attractor. attractor so if you press the button right now oh, uh, not the one. drop button that one so it acts like the magnet does in um adventure so that nice. <laughs> if some because you need it because sometimes you accidentally drop things in the middle of something uh, just don't drop the attractor in the middle of something or the game's pretty much over until the bat whatever that thing is it <laughs> comes and picks it up so that's the transfigure don't know what the transfigurator does no. i'm leaving the, all, all the stuff here because I, at least i know where it is um okay, the robot there's... that steals the stuff is the scavenger bot okay i'm just calling them space blobs uh, if they live in the pocket dimension, they should be called uh, Lintrons. <laughs> uh, funny. So, I've killed those two dudes. Now, that is an entrance to darkness. Yes. This is an entrance to, to the, a not dark maze, maze. Which maybe we need to... It does seem Where to wrap there... around, though, doesn't it? It does. It's a wraparound maze. So just go back to that last screen you are on. Mm-hmm. That is the exit. That is always the exit. Okay. So even if you're lost, you just look for that screen and go up and you'll exit out. But I believe this wraps around to the right, to the left, and down. Over and over and over again. Now, I did find a room in this maze. Mm. Um, I think it was down. Oh, I was going to steal oh, your no! whatever. <sighs> So that's okay. I think you've shot both the bad guys. I don't know if there's more than two, but yeah, let's let's hope. <laughs> I don't know what you're supposed to transfigurate. I haven't found the orange <laughs> the orange thing yet either. Oh, we so. just gave it to you. Oh, well, the no, no, the door. orange door, not the not the transfigurator. Oh, I think the orange go door is the door you want to go through Eventually. right now in this maze. Is there one in this maze? Yes, I think that's where it is. I think it was down. No, we'll go down. But I'm not quite sure. That guy's got my laser cannon. <laughs> I think you're done with the laser cannon. I think. <laughs> Frustrating. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. That's a very tricky little area. Oh, he's coming to give you the laser cannon back. I don't want it. I don't want the laser cannon. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh Atari's the kitty. freaked out now. He's evaluating cables and see if they're chewable right now. Bad. It's like, no, that cannon. one's not the right texture to chew. Oh, it's just going on screen. What? what? Can you shoot him? Oh. Oh, what? Oh, you're oh. just dropping it. You can shoot through walls. Yeah, no, it, I don't want to go this way. 
I'm trying to think of some names. Oh, is he trying to give it back? Trying to shoot him? I don't know what he's trying no? to do. He's not trying to do anything with it. I want it back. Give it back. Yeah, you do. Eventually he's going to get jealous of what you round. have. What is what is that fable? It's the fox looking into the river. Or is the dog looking into the river? Um, it's, oh, thank oh, there you. you go. It's not a river. It's a puddle. And he sees another dog with a bone. Um, but it's his uh, reflection because he has a bone in his mouth and he gets really jealous of the other dog because the other dog has a bone and he wants his bone. So he drops, he barks at the other dog. Yeah. Drops the bone into the puddle. Yeah. And none, no, no, no one the, has a bone. No one has the bone. I of course, have a vague, vague memory of that. Of that fable. Yeah. yeah. Don't be jealous yeah, of others. To go anywhere. And that guy, that, that bat dude. Is like this. continuously jealous of what you have. This is useless. Is, is that going down or am I confused? It goes down and yep. around. I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm like, nope, that just keeps going round and round. <laughs> this gets me, I think, right where I was before. Oh, well, try maybe that not. Down. Maybe not. That might be it. Or you could oh, be no. telling me to go the wrong way. I'm not like, telling you to go down. Anyway. Okay, I'll go down. And it's not, <laughs> not going anywhere. I swear it was down. Mm -hmm. Like somewhere down. Like it could be there, there, mm -hmm. any of the paths down. I think that this is the same path I've been taking over and over again. But yeah. I could be wrong. Nope, same path. Nope, nope, nope. Useless, useless. Like those two paths down don't necessarily lead to the screen you just no, saw. No, I know, I know. But I'm seeing the same screens pop up, so obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've been down this path. <laughs> Which is the, yeah. uh, you've been down the left and the right I, one yeah, there? I'm pretty yeah. sure. I'm pretty sure you're not helping. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's go another way. Let's go another way. I can try left and right now. Ah, uh, mazes. Mm -hmm. The only thing worse than mazes are dark mazes. <laughs> and there's a dark and maze darkness. as well to conquer after this one. But I did figure out something in the dark maze. It's not super helpful, but it's a little helpful. Oh, nope. Back to that one. Nope. Nope. It may also be like up. Like you have to go around well, and up to the side somewhere. and up, yeah. Yeah, oh, like gotcha. it could be that one, that one, or that one, up this there the that leads end. somewhere. Ah, no, not there. Is that a dead end? Yeah. So what names do we have so far for it? Mm. Oh, where is it? Where? Oh, I can't use two fingers. Oh, there we go. Spancher. And then I'm not so sure about that one. What are the other ones? Oh, nobody wrote them down. I think I gave them the, most of the names. Galactic Journey. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Galactic Adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, it was paused. No wonder nobody was talking. Name this game. Oh, because you clicked it and it was paused. That's why I couldn't do anything. Uh, just need to add some exhaust jets off in each direction. That would look kind of cool. It's got yeah, it's tiny got the little ones. lights. Little exhaust lights. Tiny little exhaust lights. Oh. Well, just came back out. Nope. I'm going through the same. Name this game. Yeah, there was already a 2600 game called Name This Game. Cosmic. Name this game was already done, yes. <laughs> oh, he's coming for you. What did he turn around? He did turn around at the last second. Oh, he's coming. It's like, I want that now. I'm jealous. I can't get out of here. I just keep going through the same rooms over and over again. Carl G said, I didn't think this maze would be that difficult, but then I'm used to it by now. I, I just keep going through the same. I just keep going through. I haven't I haven't found anything new for like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> but you've been through this maze. I accidentally just stumbled on it. I was just randomly going through paths. I'm like, la, la, la. So what just trying to a figure good out where approach I haven't would gone. be to do is go out, back in, 
out, back in, out, back in, out, back in on every screen. Rather than going to a screen and then going, did I do that one? No, I no, it, it's not changing. No, like go back to that last screen yeah. and then go out the other exit. Yeah, and I've been through exit. all of those exits. I've been through all three of those. There okay. we go. Now I'm out. But I haven't found anything. Maybe it's to the right. Maybe. You may have to map it. Yeah. Ready to map it? Mm, you can if you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't want to map it? You don't care if I map it. Oh, well, I'm back here. Mm. <laughs> you still want to try without the map? Well, I just feel like it takes so much time to map it after I've spent so much time going through it. No, it's uh, just squares, number of exits on each, and which ones you've tried. That's it. Yeah, but... Yeah, Very I know easy. what you're seeing. Um, not all the exits will lead to the same room, even though it looks like most of them continually do. Well, they loop around, so it doesn't matter. It won't take too long to map all the ones. I feel like I've mapped it. Obviously, there's, there, there is an, an exit I haven't been through, so... If you can go back to the entrance... Uh, I, no. Okay. <laughs> it took that me forever would, to find the entrance again. That would uh, make it infinitely more simple. No, because it, it it wraps around. So you because have to, then we can uh, find it, it again here, next time we is play. It up there? Is it up here? No, that's... It's not at all random. No, I didn't think it was. No, random. it's not random at all. The the each thing lines up to each thing for sure. Yeah, that, that wraps back through. It's like three screens. But they all deep. connect. It's like three screens deep. Like three by three. Yeah. Yeah. Do 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 do. Is it up this side? Is there an item equivalent to the bridge that could help? Maybe. I haven't discovered all the uh, all the things mm -hmm. yet. It's like I want to trade. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need it yet. No. By that time we find it, uh, we won't be able to find him. Yeah. Is there a central MacGuffin item to get to win the game, like the chalice and adventure? I'm sh I'm sure. There it is. Is that it? No. Yeah. Is that it? Is it? I think so. Okay. Yay! Okay, entrance. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then one in the middle. Just call it Space McGuffin. <laughs> That's a good name. Carl G says, yes, you need to find the energy cube and drop it in the rift to fix the rift. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Uh, and Crosswell yeah. says, just call it Space McGuffin. Okay, go to the right. Okay, stop. Okay, go back to the left. Then go down. Okay, stop. Okay, go back up. And go in that second one down. I'm sure it'll lead to that other room, but just want to yeah, get never know. every single one of them. Maybe that's the... Uh... Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah, I did. Okay, go back up. Then go to the lower left. Okay, stop. I love that little guy who just floats on by. He's like, ooh, you have something. Time to trade. <laughs> He's like, ooh. Force trade, though. It's not yeah. like it's uh He doesn't give you an option. <laughs> He's like, I'm just taking it. Okay. Uh, then go back. Mm -hmm. And then the next, <laughs> next one up and over. I'm sure it's the same. Okay, good. Now go up. Up. And to the top one over. Just to make sure. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now go up. Okay. Up, up, up. Now go to the right. 
here? Yep. Yep, this is... Mmm. This does not lead to the same room... As the going from the bottom. As going around. Yeah. Nope. This is a nightmare to map. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not meant to be mapped. Well, obviously. I told it's you, not you can map it if you want to. <laughs> uh huh, you knew this? You mm -hmm. knew it was impossible to map? Yep. Properly? Mm hmm. Ugh. You have to memorize, like, the ins and outs of Forget where it. you're going. Not mapping it. It's a nightmare to map. It's like I'd have to separate all the rooms and draw arrows from one thing to another thing of disconnected cubes. Yep. yep. Is, has anybody seen the movie The Cube? <laughs> it's like that, where th they don't lead to each other. Like, they shift around. Oh, my God. Well, I just, I just mapped it. Okay, go... Carl G, go from the entrance down one, left one, up one, right one. You're not back at the thing where the entrance exit is. You're in a totally different spot. It just do it doesn't link up. <laughs> Carl G doesn't believe us. <laughs> I, made, I made the game. That's impossible. <laughs> Adventure was it wraps. No, it, it does wrap, yeah. It, maybe it wraps left and right, but when you're going in a, a down, left, up, over, you're not back where you started, where you should be. You should be going in a circle, but it doesn't. It just does not do that. Curved space, yep. Yeah. Uh, one of them could be a ramp, and you're on a second <laughs> level now, right? True. True. You, you don't get that 3D perspective happening here. Oh my god. How is this possible to not find a Dyson Sphere? <sighs> the thing is, I haven't found any other places to explore other than this and the Dark Cave. Oh, and the Dark Cave. The Dark That's where Cave we need is to go. worse than this because <laughs> you can't see anything unless you bring one of the the glowy the balls hmm. which lights up the room you're in but only if you drop it so if you go to another part of it so maybe we should just go and explore that just yeah. to show it off because this is not going anywhere no. tesseract a name or device given to the ability to fold space and time pocket dimension geography uh what are your directions you're saying you don't link up okay so you go in <laughs> to the entrance which is here mm -hmm. we can actually demonstrate it this is very quick okay go down mm -hmm. yeah go left go up mm -hmm. and up and then right and you should be back where you were and you're not you're going down one over one up oh, one oh no I want right my one. orange thing Ugh. And so there is there is the weirdness. <laughs> so let's let's exit out. No, I want that orange thing. Oh, he'll he'll bring it back to you. Oh, maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Come on, dude. Oh, bug, Carl Jesus. <laughs> he'll he'll keep going on the line. He won't trade with you though. He'll he'll come out in this area too. But yeah, you do need that. You can't shoot him? No. Nope. Well, you just... No. That was the wrong button. I, I have tried him. You have you? Yeah. Okay. Because he has to be there. I guess he mm. doesn't want you... Carl G doesn't want uh, that guy to die because you need him to bug you all the time. Oh. So I don't know what to do... Well, I mean, that's a tool, the one you have, the attractor. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with the other thing. Oh, there's a sphere. Good. So you can use that. Not sure if you can lure the green thing out of a room. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> no. So if you stand on the other side of it, does it come through? If oh. you lure it? Okay. No, stop it! Come on, 
Press the other button. No, I have to get around it. I have to oh. move around it or it picks it up immediately. Oh, I see. Okay, so the green thing does glow, you, you were saying. Yeah, so go into uh, the other cave. Mm -hmm. To the left. There you go. You said if I drop it. If you drop it, it lights up. So I guess you can memorize it pick it back up and then move around and then drop it again in the next um, room. Keep, keep. They don't kill you. You just bounce off them. Keep going. And drop it. Oh, that does. Get out of there. Okay, so there's something in here that will kill you. I would, yeah. Of course you can't see it unless you drop it. Can't see the enemies. So I don't know what you need in here that completely lights it up. Maybe get that square thing. I don't think I've tried the square thing in there. I want to shoot them. If you shoot, is that light? Uh, Maybe. But you don't have the shooter. And yeah, because it's... Uh, it's currently being held. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, grab the shooter. Ah. Oh, he took the attractor. Oh, that's what he did. There's, he's so funny. <laughs> he's like, he's no, so I funny. want that. Uh, is the green the only one that lights it up? The, I, I think I tried the orange one and it lights it up as well. Oh, oh try and okay. shoot that's and see I... if uh, it lights it up. Yeah. Oh, great. That's what I was that's thinking. That's even better. It's a defense and you can see what you're doing. You don't run out, do you? No, not that I know of. I haven't seen any refills. I would keep shooting. In case, because you can't see the enemies coming at you to kill you. Shoot and move. There you go. Oh, they're nice and slow. Hooray! Squish! What's up here? Oh, oh, that was something. Ooh. Ooh! That's the pink. I don't have pink. Hmm. Interesting. I haven't found a pink one yet. Maybe it's in the orange cave. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Which we can't find. Okay. So that's just like over to the left one, so that's easy to get to. Maybe there's some more stuff in this dark. Oh, Ooh, oh, oh that's that the same looped one. Back. Seems like a very small area that's weird. so it's far. Low down now. Did it move? How far is this playable? Uh, Carl G says it's winnable. Nice. So. Oh, I uh, So we know we need a pink mm. orb. We now know we I know to, we've. We need to find that orange cave. We should cave. go to the right just to make sure. Nope, it's okay. It's like two screens then. Right. Is there anything down? It's a very small. No, it's, it's a. Area. It's yeah. like. Okay. Two by two. And then you go up eventually and you just exit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So Very we small. need to find pink and the orange still is a bit of a mystery. Of how to get there. Maybe it's through the maze. Yeah. Maybe explore all the areas here. I do like being able to shoot. It's very weird. Did you change? The... No, because I unplugged it. It will. It will. No, time I've out. set it so it doesn't. Time really? Out. Oh right. It's it's, it's for the unplugging power. thing. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, we got to figure out this maze. There's definitely some part of the maze. We've got the matter. orange thing. Or maybe was well, no, it was pink, wasn't it? It was pink. It wasn't orange. Uh, you so could go could try, try it. Yeah, maybe I'm mistaken. It looked pink to me. Well, people do complain about the 7800 and its colors. <laughs> so maybe that's the thing. I would try it. It's worth yeah, trying. It doesn't hurt. There you go. Nice easy exit. And it acts as a glow ball, so. Yes, it does, but it shouldn't be too hard to, uh... Is 
it's like just over one or down one. I think. And luckily you've killed the, the one dude in here. No. Nope. Nope. Okay. So you do need the orange thing and the other maze to get mm. possibly the pink thing. Maybe you need to transform the orange globe into a Ooh, other color. Maybe. Because the other thing was a maybe. What is that? Fire. That's your home base. Oh, that's You're all. You're supposed it is. to return the the main goal back to that. So maybe you can shoot with that. So transfigurator, try and shoot it oh. with the other button. Mm. No. no. So, yeah, I think our best mm. bet. Transfigurator. What would you transfigurate? So we're trying to find the energy cube and drop it into the rift, which I think is where you start. And that's how you win the game. Mm. So I'm probably the, the um, what was it again? <laughs> the energy cube is in that last dark maze Maybe. pink orb yeah but we need to find the uh the path through that maze because hmm. can i try yeah probably missing one little exit one exit yeah i know it's not going to be off the first screen so I... oh, do you, you know want... how to get them i do you want some food Oh yeah, get him on the get him on the cat cam. Be on the cat cam. Meow. Meow. Oh yes, please. Oh, he's already dinging the bell. Oh, did you hear the other cats come come running too? Is he? Yeah. He's like, oh, Atari's dinging the bell. That means it's food time. Hmm? You gonna mm -hmm. ring the bell? Can oh, I ring the bell? Oh, he will. He's That's food motivated. Good. Food motivated cat. No, not there. Not there. He has to ring it loud, though. Mm -hmm. There good we kitty. go. Good kitty. Smart cat. Um, <laughs> food motivated. <laughs> He's learned this. <laughs> <laughs> he knows this one trick <laughs> and he knows it well it, it it took us one about an hour not yeah. even less less than an hour the, to the, teach yeah. him that we saw cats doing it on on youtube and i said oh they're, they're sitting at a table with a tablecloth and plates oh, yeah. and it's all very cute yeah <laughs> Pixel refuses. Refuses. He's like, I'm above He's that. like, you'll give it to me anyway. Why would I ring the bell? <laughs> yes. Food motivated cat is redundant. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> good kitty. Good kitty. Uh, when um, we got him, he got very pudgy. Yeah. So, he did. uh. Yep. The pixel lets our Atari do all the work. That's pretty, pretty true. That's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness, oh. you're going to be so chubby if you have all these. Oh, Pixel, do you want one? Here you go. <laughs> Tari, chasing <laughs> after it. Um, hmm. Oh, I saw something in the mazer earlier when Tanya was playing. I'm waiting for you to get back to that point so I can oh, show you. Did you. Oh, obviously there was something. That you flickered an entry, in? An entry point or something? Like you flickered into it and immediately left it or something? Oh, maybe. I didn't see it. Maybe I was looking at something else. Yeah, we Maybe are trying to get him to hit the reset button on the 2600. But oh it's, my god, yeah. That, that would be great. It's here. It's a dead end. Close. Oh my god, mangling the bell. He's like turn flipping it. Oh. Hit the bell, hit the bell. Said you did. Where's my food? <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> there you go. Of course, we have to cut it off at some point because... Yeah. He'll just keep eating. <laughs> he'll, just, he'll just keep eating. Oh, pick, pick up. You need something to trade. Yeah. Good kitty! Okay, that's the last one. Pixel. Is it possible that I need the orange thing to even get it? Uh, like to, to even 
see it? No. You should see it, but you won't get through it. If it's like the right. green one. Because otherwise you would never show the barrier. Yeah. Feed the cat is the best Atari game, yes. <laughs> uh, Stop. Stop. Okay. Here? Yeah. Crossbow. Well, that could have been in any time. The, the down? Down. Down. Nope, Carl G says. Nope. Well, I think I was over here when he said stop. Might be this one. I don't know. Maybe this. Well, he said down. Oh, go through the left there. There. I think that's... Well, no. well I don't think I usually go no. through this little path here, so... I can give directions for now if you like. <laughs> that might be for the best. Otherwise, we're not going to progress. Oh! oh hallelujah. Okay, it's at that square thing. Okay. It's down from that square thing. Jeez, that took forever. We almost got the hint. <laughs> okay. So, and then how do we get out? So let's just go up go and up see here. what this is from. It goes from. Oh, that's why. That there. How do we get to that? What is this? Okay, it's over from this. Maybe I'm going to come from the right hand side of this. Yep. This needs something very identifiable. That's obvious. Yeah. It's down from that square. Okay. See, that's a dead end. Yeah, so. So it was through this little thing, yeah. this little maze that I never go through. <laughs> do that lol <laughs> do that but now i need the orange thing which is probably outside of the maze because oh. that guy doesn't have the orange thing anymore feed the pixel cat is the worst atari game <laughs> <laughs> the worst atari. for uh, atari it is for atari no for atari it's oh. the best game what? What? what is he doing no he's trying to eat that <laughs> it's like more more oh there we go he gave it to me oh it almost oh. got blocked i have to go around and get it all right for, so somehow okay he went got the orange one and, and, and traded, then traded it for, it for me <laughs> good job it's like sure watch just, out just don't do it again before i get there yeah he he tends to dude he tends to break i think i can remember the way back yeah i think it's here yeah, no no it was down wasn't it no up no no go oh, back around? to where there you it were is. i saw it i saw it I saw yeah it. go back to where you were i think you have to he go did hide down it. and around right like it's not like you're, yeah. Oh, go away. Oh, nope, maybe not. Go. You bloody. Oh, my God. Maybe it was to the left. It's down here. Yes. And then around. Yeah. Or was I just there? <laughs> you bastard. Oh, That's well. okay. Keep going. I'll and just keep going and hang around. around the area where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. <sighs> uh, come on. Give it back. It's like, no, I like it for now. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Come on the screen. Okay. I'll... Oh, you... he was going to give it back. That's okay. I wonder if he comes in here. That doesn't look very orange, does it? Nah. It's kind of brownie. You need it. See if it... Let's hang around here. I hope he doesn't come take the thing I have. <laughs> that would be the worst. There I he would is. hate it. No, don't. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. There what we a go. nightmare. Loot. Okay. Oh. There's nothing in here yet. What's past here? Oh my God. Now, That's definitely what we how need. How would you get through that? You could shoot it. You could. There. Transfigurer, maybe that thing. He has the other thing, so if he trades you. So if I keep the orange thing in here. Oh, the attractor. Oh, crossbow. Oh, smart. Smart. So if I keep the orange thing in here, that'll keep it open. Yeah. Or maybe I should just keep it outside the cave. Just. just no, no. Just I don't case. think it'll. I don't think it'll. They don't seem to. That's true. Go into the caves. I don't know. Uh, yeah. No, just go. Come back with the attractor. Smart, smart, smart. Thank you, crossbow. We would have figured that out. We would have figured that out. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> 7800 color doing, just doing its thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm grabbing it. Do you want anything to drink? Do you need water? I'm good with water. Okay. Thank you. I will be back. Kitties, you've had your fill of treats. Oh, yeah. They've had their fill. Uh, how do I get out? 
At least I know at least two screens ahead of where that entrance is. I'm just treading water. I need to go over one. <laughs> because they're all vertically aligned. But you do need to fix that bug, Carl. Because <laughs> that bug is probably messing us up a little bit. Leave it so the bot doesn't come along to snag it from you. Yes. That's... Yes. Oh, here we go. Here's the exit. Ah, oh, we're getting somewhere. It's like playing a tour the other day. Where it's like, oh, what do we do? And then you eventually you find the thing. Okay. And then it's like... Fixing it as we speak. Awesome. I used to leave the keys in the castle to prevent the bat from doing stupid like stupid stuff like that in adventure yeah you kind of have to think ahead oh there's that thing right there uh, no 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 oh you that didn't help dropping it he still stole it he stole it he stole it but he'll be back he'll be back <laughs> there it is he stole the attractor of course. of course i think there's like a timing thing it's like Every X minutes, I have to. St he has to steal, steal it. it back. Yeah, that's okay. He'll be back. There he is. He can't do anything about it. He doesn't want to trade. Did you stain your white pants? Oh, no, is it water? Oh, reason. it is dirty. Oh well. Yeah, such, such is the burden of having why white is, pants. Why is it all dirty? Filth. Cats. Cat filth. Oh no. Cat filth. Oh well. <laughs> Transfigure. Yeah, I don't know what that's for yet. Mm. Maybe we'll figure it out and <laughs> figure it out in a bit. Oh, oh, no, no, no! You have to. You have can't to be on it. the same line. No, you can't be on the same line. You have to like move around. He won't yeah. go after you if you stay. If you stay, no, go up, go up. Don't yeah. go side to side. He okay. just keeps continually going around. Oh. You see? Mm. Go. There oh. we go. Oh. What? Maybe you can get it from the other side? What? Oh, oh no. The, I need another attractor. Oh, no. Oh, no, he'll steal it. Oh, he eventually. will. Eventually. I'll just hang around here. Oh, no, you have to, you know, you can't hang around there. No. He, he'll just keep going around and around in circles. Well, what he did just disproved what you said. No, because you moved. If you just sit there, he'll just okay. keep going around and around in circles. Hopefully he doesn't drop it in a terrible place as well. So That's at least what I've noticed. He just goes round and round and round. I'm sure something like this happens in Adventure too, And you have to wait for the bat. Or you might not be able to... Oh. You <clears throat> might not be able to pick up the other thing though. Cause he'll just he'll just trade it, won't he? He, he may go after something else uh, outside of this maze, but uh, maybe maybe go out and pick up something else for him to trade with you. Uh, no, because he'll go after that thing and never go after the. I don't he appears know. to be more active than the bat. You need the bridge. I I don't know what, what a bridge is in this game though. We haven't encountered anything that is a bridge. Like. Oh, you, where are you going with that? Oh. oh, oh, he put it. He moved it. If you go up, still there, gone. Oh, I need to wait for him to get that, then get something else. Yes, that's so what I, I mean. Oh, go, so go out and get the something go, else. Go out and get something else. Okay. but And then come back and hopefully it'll have, it'll have moved. Yes, uh, it will. Yeah. The bridge was kind of a fail safe, yeah. Mm. Like, you need the attractor and the bridge. Of course, you could you could still lose the bridge somewhere that you can't get to, right? Mm -hmm. And then lose the attractor as well? Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that thing is much more active than the bat. No, you're back in the same room again. Yeah, you kind of have to go over one. Yeah. And then That's go up the exit, another path. Right? Uh... No, it's none of those three paths. They just yeah, keep you going in circles. It's very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it is quite the maze. You oh. go get the other thing. Go get the other thing. There's the exit. Okay. 
Are the May May's walls, walls pulsing? No, I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah, no. they're, they're, they are changing a little bit of color. Oh, Just tiny bit. Tiny bits. bit of color. Yeah, you're right. The pink. If you get a third object, you reduce the possibility that the bat bot will get the magnet. I think so too. What? But he'll just keep trading and I'll yeah. have nothing to ever trade with him yeah, for. Yeah, it. it's still, something is still stuck in the wall. You need something. Did you pick did. something? Yeah. Okay. You need something to trade with him. But uh, what I have to do is, there he has the right thing. So that's perfect. So he'll want to trade with me now. Hopefully. So I'm going to get primed. Because I was hoping he didn't have the other thing when I come yeah. back. Because well, then I mean, it's lost. He might. But so then, then you, it'll he'll keep trading it. So. But at least it won't be in a... There, there's that thing. Won't be in a wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I need to get over to that thing. Worst was using the bridge to get the get a locked in place, then the bat takes the bridge. Oh my god, you get stuck somewhere you can't get out of. Mm. Okay. Then it's over. I hopefully. feel like this this is taking way longer than it should because of that bat dropped yeah. that thing in the wall. Yeah. We would have been oh. way ahead at this point <laughs> if he hadn't have dropped it in the wall. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. It's pressing reset. Re yeah, you just reset your character and it drops everything where it, where, where it is. Mm. Which may help in certain situations, but it doesn't help in this situation. So I have to wait for the bat to come by. Exchange goods. The thing's still in the wall. So I know. But at least I'll have the magnet, and yep. I'm gonna get that thing. There out you of... go. Do it now. Do it now. I'm gonna get that thing out of the wall. Get the thing out of the oh, wall. Oh, right. Oops. <gasps> what are you doing? Pressing the wrong button. What? What? Oh, it's gone. No, go down. Go down. Go down. Just go down. Go down quickly. <laughs> quickly. Get in there. Get it out. Get it in there. There we go. And stay far away from the wall when I trade. Okay. And then don't accidentally pick it up like that. <laughs> it's uh, it drops always drops it in front of you. So yeah. All right, get the hell out of there. The bat's gonna trade it, but then you can trade it back. So Ugh, nightmarish. Try to get out of the maze before he notices you. <laughs> oh. No, 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 go nope. away. Go away. We don't need that anymore. We've killed everything. Watch out! Let him pass. Let him pass. Killed it. Ah! ah! Run! <laughs> he saw me! Run! <laughs> Run! 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 There. Oh, there. There's the, the optimal path. Everybody yeah. got that? Run, coward! <laughs> <laughs> Run, coward. It's from Sinistar. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, oh it's easy. It's easy. It's just you go to the left. Go to the left. Okay. Go to the left. Even if you hit something, just keep going to the left. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Fly, you fools. All these movie quotes. <laughs> okay. okay. Now it's sort of towards the bottom. But you, if you, if you drop your thing... No, go to the left. Just drop your thing. There you go. Oh, great. And you just dropped it on a rock. Good job. And I'll never get it back. There you go. There. And now you've gone too far high. Oh, there you go. Yay! <sighs> Yay! Yay! Next thing. Oh, God. What is this? I have to go get the... What? The trans... The whatever. The thing that the, changes the, it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. At least I can drop that there. And yeah. we're fine. Nobody will ever take that from me. <laughs> Darkness. Yeah, At least it's not a maze. I, I thank you, Carl G, for not making this... A maze. Too mazy. It's just like things in my way. There you go. So pick up something. The transmonger fire. Yeah. The I guess because that's like a bridge, or it'll change it. I don't know where. I don't know where it is. No, I don't either. The robot Does he have took it, it and sw swapped it up. Is it in here even? Uh, I. One of them is. One of them has to be, because he keeps... Oh! He has that. But where did he drop the other thing? I don't know. Is it in here? Is it outside? Mm. Hey, what did, what did you do? It has to be in here, because he swapped one for the other. You. He swapped one for the yeah. other. Yeah. Oh, I hate that little corner. It's very good. <laughs> very clever little design. 
that little uh, square that has an entrance. I was avoiding doing a dark maze per se. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean it's as close to a dark maze as as you you can tolerate. As I can tolerate. <laughs> so I. It's not too bad. Thank you. It's thank you. It's actually no. pretty cool to have the monster the, in there and the gray uh, slow moving monster. The which slow is moving nice. monster. You're like ah, <laughs> you turn the lights on and ah. sometimes you don't know what's in the dark room. Yeah. I should search outside. Mm. If I don't find it in the next little bit. He's not. He kind of took it. He's not trading it for anything. No. He says the same thing over and over. I think I'm going to go outside if I see it. Yep, there we go. You can try look. getting the attractor back. I don't know. There's the green guy. Pick up the green thing. Mm, sure. Because then you have something to trade. Sure, yeah, because he may give it to me. And it's dead Smushy, squishies. Smush. Dead squished things. Um, there's my home base. I'm pretty sure it's in that maze. Yeah. I don't think he goes in the other thing because it's too small. But at least I'll have something to trade if he's carrying it. Yeah. Well, there should be. And that's the only thing left, isn't it? Like we've used all the other things. Mm -hmm. Like everything else has had a purpose. Yeah. No, now you, well, you don't care about that. It's fine. Or the laser cannon. We use the laser cannon for everything. Where did it go? It was it was in the wall. I hope it's not gone. It's a possibility. It kind of went in a wall and then it went and off, off the screen. It off. went off the screen. So it is it is it in no man's land? Yeah. That's gonna be so disappointing. Well, we'll just have to float around a bit and see. Maybe I need to go get the attractor. Oh, again. maybe. Yeah. Let's go try get to the find, attractor. Try to find the... Oh, uh, yeah, it's in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. You can okay. trade it, yeah. Now you have something to trade. Yep, that's true. Something I don't need. Inaccessible. Mm. Yeah, it pulled it the wrong way, so maybe if I can pull it the right way... Um, oh, this thing. I hate it. I hate that little corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not certain if it's successful at this point or not. We'll try the attractor. Yeah, if it doesn't pull it. And see if it pulls it out of the where, wall. I know where it is. Yes, if, if you if, if you recall where it is. It's and we right can above find it. that entrance. Yeah. Oh, Oh, he has. Oh, he, good. Isn't he, that what you want? Yeah. Yeah, good. He, he rescued it. Because <laughs> he knows where it is. Yeah, he and does. And he can go everywhere. Yeah, it's true. Thank oh. you. Okay, run! 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 It's run. not up there. It's to the left. I and think then it's up. to the left and up, yeah. There it is, Carl G. <laughs> <laughs> Even Carl G's not entirely sure at this point if it's going to show up. Oh, there it is. Uh, That's so funny. <laughs> the only reason it is there is because the bat has full access yeah. to the whole maze. Yeah. Run, Forrest, run! Okay, I'm uh, safe now. And then it's just because I'm, I'm in the yeah, dark, you just though. have to, but you just go to the left one and then it's like and then to the right uh, again. Um, it's like yeah. in the middle of the yeah. screen. Go, no, you need to go down. You need, I know, I know, kind of know the path. Yeah, so it's in the like down a little. No, it's down, down a little. little. Yeah, it's kind of midpoint, slightly there? lower, a little further, if I'm not mistaken. A little further, like just below the midpoint. Ugh, yeah, somewhere walking. in there. Maybe you're yeah. at the, yeah, somewhere there. Nope. Ugh, there's things in the way. Oh, there we go. Told ya. Told ya. It is way down. Okay. Can I just go through it? No. What do I do? Drop it as a bridge? Transfigure it? Or maybe? Use it? It's maybe not... you can't. Oh, <gasps> there we go. It... Oh, my God. Um. Can you go through? I can. What should I hold? Nothing. I'll just keep holding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now you need to shoot that. Okay, so I've used... I'll use the transfigurator. Leave it open. Drop it? Drop it. I should bring something back? Maybe I should... No, you won't get back in if you, if you leave it. Just okay. leave that there. I should uh, get the green thing then. Outside. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Bido's leaving, but we're going to play your game. <laughs> I know, it's late for some people, depending on where you live. Thanks for hanging out. We're so close, though. We're so close. We just have to shoot that guy, get the thing, and I think bring it back. Well, it's, it's in the maze. You traded oh, the, it. Oh, okay. So oh, you're going to have to get something. Something in the maze. Whether it's I don't just know a... if we can find it, though. Ooh, because he may have dropped it uh, in, the, in, in the void. Oh, I saw him flash the weapon. Uh, it doesn't matter. There it is. It doesn't matter. He's not going to oh. drop it unless you can find the green th the green thing. Which I won't be able to find. Or you could take go go down. Go down and take out the... Um... Oh, yes. The orange yeah. globe. Yeah. Because I don't think we need to go back in there. So I will do that. Have a good night. Do you still have something in the orange castle? Yes. yes. Yeah, that I is was our just key. Saying that, uh, that is I our key to gonna... salvation is that orange globe. Because we don't need it anymore. But we do need it to trade. Mm -hmm. For the gun that he now has. Because something is inaccessible. Like, something is. The green something, thing. He swapped it something out. Something is always going to be inaccessible yeah. now. But luckily, we don't need everything. Yeah. We just need one thing to trade. Okay, now so just try to out. get to the exit. Yeah, just in preparation, because by the time I get there, he'll be like, "Hey, wanna?" Well, I'll probably want to trade. I the want green your thing. thing. And you'll be like, "No," oh, but anyway, like, not that. Yeah. I think he trades with you probably first, rather than the other thing. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I missed it. <gasps> oh my god! Why? It's literally a pixel away from me. From both sides. Try it from above. And I can't, I have nothing else to trade. No, I can, but I won't work. I just know it. It's not gonna work. You have to go back and get the attractor. The attractor's in the wall. In the wall. It is. That's the thing oh, in the wall the right thing? now. Mm, oh. No. Are we giving up? No. <laughs> We're going to have to go get the transmogrifier now. <laughs> no. Yeah. Because we only need that at one spot. We have to have something. Oh, you can use it and run away with it? We have to get him to get that to trade for something we have, and we have nothing to trade mm. right now. Oof, yikes, yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> well, and we don't Oof know where the green indeed. thing went because it completely disappeared. <laughs> right? It was in a wall, and now it's gone. Like, it has completely dif disappeared. Yeah. So you need the attractor. Where was the attractor? The attractor would solve everything because we can get all this out. Oh, because it's in, in the... It's in no man's land. Oh, no, it's in the, it's in the orange thing that you can't get into now because you traded the orange <laughs> thing oh my god see if maybe when he trades it it's more accessible oh no carl g sorry this is my first pass there's still <laughs> some glitches well yeah when you came back it won't be there I'm oh lost. no can you get to the orange cavern oh he's got the green one now so we swapped the green for the orange somewhere we still don't know where that is <laughs> <laughs> it's in the maze though it's like in a yeah. it's in the maze no no why are you going that way i need something there's only one thing that i can <sighs> get right now and it's the uh it's the transmogrifier mm. it's the only thing accessible to me Ugh. visible roadblocks do you did where are you going? I'm trying to get to... See, it's really easy. You go down one, you go left one, and it's right there. But you just like to... Oh, it's right, it's right there. Um, you just like to spin around and around <laughs> and around. I don't understand. Go down a little further. No. Down? Try down. No, it's up then. Go down further. Mm. I'm going to exit. 
yeah. Okay, so go down. And then over one. Go left. And then right. Maybe you can't see it anymore? That's weird. That's possible. Nothing. I have nothing. Should I start over? You might have to. <laughs> I don't Carl know where G, the should I start is. over? <laughs> we're like we've lost like two things, and we're like losing more by the second. Maybe it is up one screen. I don't didn't I don't think, think so. so. But we'll try. Could be. This is definitely not. It's either not there or not accessible from there. No. Sure, it was that screen, but the dead guy wasn't showing up. So, mm. Mm. it would help if you could see it. Yeah, sure would. It sure would. We have, there it oh, is. Oh my god! Finally, it was over to the right. So if you grab that, that that will stay open as long as that stays open. Then yeah. you're okay. Because I I need to keep that there. Yeah. If I lose that, I can't get back in here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hopefully that stays open I think it should because it's been done and hopefully that just remembers that you don't have to keep that there okay I've got a thing for you yeah, just hang out until he comes and now I need what do just I need stay now? there just stay there you want you want the laser cannon which he keeps laser swapping cannon. out with so hopefully he'll he'll bring me the laser cannon and on a green yeah. orb and not an attractor or the orange. It's orange and green. <laughs> the attractor is gone. The attractor is in the cave. So it's either the orange orb, the green orb, or the laser cannon. So you've got a one in three shot to get what you need. Yep. <laughs> um, the second game we're going to be playing, Cosmic Cabby, yeah. is very limited <laughs> so it's going to take like 10 minutes to okay. look at it so we've been we've been working it's on not this for three a while. full games <laughs> oh oh not that's what not I what want. you want should, you can pull that transponder maybe it might be just hanging out yeah you should be able to get the transponder now or not the transponder the, the attractor if you oh if no the, no the, yeah no it's orange yeah yeah if you go to where that is oh if you remember how to get there. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Because that, that's something to try, at least. Yeah. And I know where or the thing is. Or he'll swap out with you, and then... Yeah, one way or the other, that's both good something outcomes. Something to do. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my that's God. Oh, he's going to trade you. He's going to trade you. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, no. you got to get out fast. <laughs> he, oh. he seems to be on a timer, so I don't know if fast is going to work. I can remember exactly how to get out. I think you're... Mm. Is this the wrong path? Give me the to the left, right? Um, yep. We're almost there, boys and girls. As long as that bat creature, whose Open name up, I can't right? remember, Is it up? doesn't come and... Just oh, he will. Boil everything at the very yeah. last second. Go. He's going to swoop in. Go, go, go. Once you get into the dark area, <laughs> once you get into the dark <laughs> area, he doesn't seem to go in there. I there. won't be offended go, if you go, move go, on. Go, 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 go. Yeah, that's true. He does come out here. I would be offended if we moved on. I, I hate leaving things like, we're almost done. Yeah. It's like, now nah, we'll just give up. We're one second away from winning. We'll just give up. No. No, you're on the right level. Not, there's no t timer. We don't have to go to bed. The cats don't need feeding or anything weird. No. Well, not for a while. <laughs> don't have kids to to bother us, so uh, no. we're our own people. <laughs> we could play for six hours if we wanted to. Okay, ready? You we're ready not, to we shoot? We don't have sponsors. Shoot, shoot. Oh. Don't have sponsors. That looks like a cube. What do you think? <laughs> Woohoo! Energy cube! And now we take you. Do you take it back to your 
Yep. So don't let uh, the bat. Talk. Oh, and you're gonna do that. You're gonna have a problem. You need to move the pink thing out yes, of your yes, way. Yes, there yes. you go. Yes, 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 mother. <laughs> <laughs> go. Energy cube. Yay! Energy cube. In and the you'll darkness. have it until the, the robot steals it from you. <laughs> That's right. Steely, steely, steely robots. Oh, there, right? Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm guessing. And then... Nope. <gasps> there we go. Victory! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> oh my goodness, Carl G. <sighs> Great job. Excellent. <laughs> Some frustrating parts there. I don't know but how... But we figured it out. <laughs> how you can avoid them. I don't know, because that's how it works. Like, things go mm -hmm. into parts because you need the attractor to bring them out. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. But even a couple of times there, we thought it wasn't going to work, in it, and we, could, we could still lots, got it working. There's lots of objects to, yeah. to do things with, but you do rely on the bat to trade you the exact right object <laughs> it's true. at the right time. Yep. Oh, my God, nightmare. Yeah, dig the original event adventure sounds. Yeah, they're pretty yep. good. Yeah, yeah. Yay! <sighs> All right, next game. Next game, Cosmic Cabby, uh, which is a port mm. of a um, of a C64 game. Um, so we're going to take a look quickly at the original game, so people have an idea of what that is about. And this is one of my favorite games. I played this a ton. On the C64. Uh, okay, there we go. So, Space Taxi. Does that have audio? It should. Is it muted? No. There we go. Sorry, 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 sorry about So, this is the first level. So, you're a taxi. Mm. And. Oh, it's very loud. And you have to pick up people with your taxi. You land on the uh, where they are. They tell you where they want to go. The first level is just you leave. And each of the pads are numbered. That mm -hmm. was just one. The next one, I think, has more than one pad. Um, and sometimes you have to deliver them from one. Yeah, it has three pads. So I said, pad one, please. And it had speech, which was so cool mm -hmm. on the C64. Um, on the lower left-hand side is... How much money you've earned oh nice on the right hand side is how much money they'll pay and it goes down the longer you take to get them and deliver them to where they want to go so see it's eleven dollars ten and you have to put out your landing gear and as soon as you put out your landing gear you can no longer maneuver left and right mm. but you can move up maneuver up and down and then you take all the people until mm -hmm. they say up please and you go to the next level mm -hmm. so uh the one that carl g modeled uh the kind of first level demo beginnings is after this level mm -hmm. so that's this is the level we're going to see mm -hmm. um on the 7800 version <laughs> so it's very cute and if you and crash so you have taxis on the lower left oh yeah if you crash then you lose one if you Lose them all, it's game over. You also have fuel as well. So you can't mess around. Mm. Um, like this person's doing a perfect playthrough of everything. Yeah. So they're never going to run out of fuel. The other thing, if you land too hard. Yeah, you crash, he, right? You crash. But if you land a little hard, he takes money off your tip. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> if you crash into him... Uh, I don't think you get penalized. You might get penalized the amount that he's going to give you. Maybe oh, I there's see. No he penalty. disappears? He does disappear. You kill him, essentially. But it's a anarchistic, lawless land, apparently. And, <laughs> and there's no real big penalty for killing him. You just have to go pick up the next person. Yeah. Um, and yes, Carl G has some preliminary Atari Vox in his game. Oh, so we, really? I have the Atari Vox hooked up to the 7800 nice, nice, for the nice, first nice. time. So, um, yeah, this is... And then it gets crazy yeah. and crazier and crazier. Um, so, let's just... Uh, 
pause that. And then a long time ago, back in 2018, mm. um, we played uh, another port of this for the 2600. I, I remember that. Yeah. Um, that was uh, made by uh, Kyleran. It was on our, on our October 12th, 2018 stream. So I'm going to show a brief thing of that. And it was looking really, really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is inception of... Oh, this doesn't really show properly. Because it's off to the side. I'm going to have to show it a little differently. Uh, I think I'll do it like this, but shift it. that work mm -hmm. yeah that mm -hmm. yeah you can see my bookmarks that work there we go that's better that works kind of okay good enough for now okay press play um so here's the 2600 version that is a weird inception going on here <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah it's just the easiest thing to do is show our <laughs> show our gameplay from 2018 that's funny um it's got the landing, it's got mm. the guy, it's actually got even animated um, obstacles. Mm. Really cool. It's got a bunch of pads. You couldn't, I think you could pick up the guy or you go right through him or something because you can make it to him. Yeah. Um, it's got the fuel and the amount, but that's as far as it went, unfortunately. Yeah. And it was such a good beginning. I was so excited for him to finish it, Like, yeah. but he's just abandoned it, unfortunately, for like the last two he years. Just, he just tried no it. No updates since yeah. we played it, oh. which is so unfortunate. His was called Air Taxi. Yeah. yeah. Um, so now we're going to look at the, uh, 7,800 version of it. Oh, there's a, yep. I think that's the last of the things I need to show. So I'll just close that out. Mm. Uh, okay. So let's load it up. controller is really nice. Oh my god, it's it's unbelievably good, that controller. Aladdin. I love it so much. It's really expensive, but completely worth it. Mm. Okay, so here is Cosmic Cabbie. Um, oh yeah, I unplugged. One second. Unplugged the second controller for something else. Is somebody others somebody's others other game use the second controller? Mm -hmm. There we go. Ready. And Ready. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hey Cabby. Hey Cabby. So as you can see this is modeled after the uh, third level, was it? Yeah. So he said this is my uh, own tribute to a well-known C64 classic space taxi, where you fly around accepting passengers and taking them to their destinations while avoiding collisions and running out of fuel. Oh. The final version will have original hey, levels. <laughs> and he's got different voices, too. So you want to... Yeah, that's what you want to do. Is not You can float a little bit to the left and right, but not very fast mm -hmm. to land. I just... I hit the ground i think accidentally yeah you have to take it you one. have to land slowly and also be completely on the pad yeah and make sure your uh, feet are out is that what happened last time no uh, i think i think i skimmed it oh okay um, uh this version is a early work in progress there's only one level so far you can fly around land crash run out of fuel and transport customers but you can't move on to a new level yet the level for demo purposes is based on the original skyscrapers level. Uh, level. Um, so I, I explain uh, the instructions on how to how to play. So uh, crash into the guy. So it shows that you can crash into him. Crash into him? Yeah. Oh, but he's waving and happy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and you can crash as well. Yeah. Hey. So everything is functional on this level well there's one thing missing he doesn't say which pad like out loud that would have been i'm sure that's just like a voice oof, oof. that was rough oh also i don't think he's implemented the rough um, landing the rough landing like taking off money mm. for a rough landing you can land as rough as you want and he'll pay you the full amount yeah see yeah actually that was a good landing 
But I, I've tested it, and you can land as rough as you want. Yeah. And he's totally fine with it. These people don't care. <laughs> they just want to get there. Sounds like auto tune. <laughs> yep. But good voice, like you can yeah. totally understand it. So yeah, he needs to implement like pad three, please. Mm. Pad one, please. But you only need to do perfect the pad, the please, and then oh up please as well. And then the one through nine, which is probably built into the Atari box, like all the numbers. So really, really good start. It's really cute. So then <laughs> all he needs to do is make a bunch of levels, which is a lot of work to do mm -hmm. all the level design. But all the logic seems in place. Like, don't crash into anything. Land on a pad. Pick up pick up the people, and, and that's it. Oh, and the thanks when you deliver them to the pad. Mm. Right. Thanks. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so, like I said, very quick to show. Because <laughs> you just do this loop over and over and over again. I guess you run out of fuel eventually. <laughs> Yeah, there's no fuel, so... Uh, there are lives, and there's a game over screen, so we should show that. Okay. How many lives? I only have one left, so yeah. I can... Let me... Uh... It does flicker <sighs> on the game over screen, though, so he does need to fix yeah. fix the line count on the game over. No. Oh, no! Smoosh! Yeah. Yeah. See? It cuts out. Hmm. So there's a bit of a... a Game over. A uh, video Ooh. issue. Um, it's pretty yet. straightforward. Yeah. Yep. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. It goes all Very gray. Very cute. Very cute. This is one of my top, top ports that mm. I've wanted somebody to make. I was so excited when somebody made the the Air Taxi version for the 2600 because yep. it, it looked really good. Mm -hmm. And he also made... Um, a, somebody also made a screen for the 2600 for that first level as well and it looked good mm -hmm. oh he made a title screen on the 2600 it was awesome so uh really looking forward to this being uh mm. further uh developed mm. i know carl g has a lot on his plate right now he's got <laughs> a lot of games on the go yeah um but uh this is uh this is very exciting for me anyway i uh i don't know how much how many other people actually uh played this back in the day as mm. well uh, so the third and final game we're going to play. Unfortunately, the developer needed to go to bed or something. <laughs> so uh, he had to leave us. But that's okay. He can check it out uh, tomorrow. We're going to play Wizards. Oops. Wizards Dungeon. Woo! Ready. Uh, this is by Bido Empire. This is first posted December 30th, 2020. Uh, don't press anything just yet. Because uh, he has done a ton of updates. Mm -hmm. Like five different updates. Uh, first post December 30th. This build is from... I think it's... Today? today? I think he updated this like just before the show. Okay. It's 48k. This is his first game he's ever made. Um... It says normal. I don't know if you can... Ooh, you can. Should we play normal? We can play normal. Yeah? I okay. like to see what normal is before yeah. we step so reach down stairs, or up. gravestones, find magic items. Mm. Some of those we've never found before. Because mm. we haven't gone very far. Because it crashed, unfortunately. Last time. Oh, is, is that, that the one the we kept doing it and it kept crashing? Yeah. We get to a certain point and it would crash? It was something... Possibly due to the concerto okay. firmware, it's it's brand new. The yeah, concerto. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fine. Um, and uh, the dragonfly seems to be just impenetrable for mm. crashing. Like mm. nobody's found anything that it doesn't work with. The only difficult uh, difference in difficulty so far is how much health you get when you complete a run through the maze. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Crossbow. If we need uh, help, we will definitely yeah. turn to you for tips, because he has been heavily testing this game so oh very go nice. for it okay let's jump into it so that's your dude um looks like the wizard of war he does yeah oh. Ooh, evasive they are evasive wow you're not uh because they usually they made a beeline for you before it was like yep just run into my bullets hmm. so your objective 
really kind of is to find the stairs. Your secondary objective is to power up, open chests, need a key for that. Um, power up your weapons, get armor, things like that. So let's run through all the updates that have happened. And, and it's never a bad thing to shoot a lot of stuff on the screen because no. you start getting more powerful. Your mm -hmm. shots get more powerful. Uh, and that's a pile of gold. Oh, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So the updates. Uh, fixed a number of... This is from February Ooh, 21st. Nice. The first of number... Oh, did you get... What did you get? No, it's just... It's just... Um, I'm finding this a little easier than the last version. Uh, so that's potion, yeah, I think. Lots of baddies, though. Yeah. So he said, uh, fixed a number of concerns and bugs from the ZPH's Twitch stream. A hundred hit really points. Nice, yeah. Oh, no, I can't get that. I think you're f full. Oh. Maybe. You oh, can't okay, get it. that's fair. A hundred hit point potion bug. It was fun to see you try to figure out why one potion gave you a hundred. Most maxed out at 50. That was just a bug. 50 is max. Oh. Oh, was that a map? It looks like a map. Evasive. Face of bats. Go smooth faster now. Hint, definitely use the map to find the best route. So that's the map. So was it pause? Let me just check. Yeah. Okay. So we're the blue. Yeah, that's where that's our path so far. And we I'm haven't really found much yet. Guessing but... the red is the exit, and those Objective. other things are stuff. Stuff you need to go get. Okay. <clears throat> The brown or the gravestone sites. Okay, that's so very you, handy. So you should want to stick around those, especially and head straight for them if you're low on health. So right now you have 50 health and you haven't been hit, so yeah, doing just fine. Mm -hmm. That's a pot of gold. Uh, updated enemy spawn positions. It's less likely to spawn on top of the player, but Good. I'm not happy with it how it is now. I'll continue to tune it. Mm. Uh, some of these might have changed because he has done many updates, but. Fix the gravestones reappearing after use, hopefully for real this time. Tighten up the enemy player collisions and knocking back the enemy after a hit. Well, that's mm, good. That does make it. Because then they're not, like, right on you. Uh, no, they don't seem to be bounding backwards. Ugh. That's okay. Oh. oh, my God. They're persistent now. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, boy. So they can past. guard an egg. egg. So that's can. good to know. So you can't just run away. And uh, the, uh, these guys just take so many hits. I had to kind of get a, get away yeah. from them. Yeah. So always make sure you have enough room to shoot and maneuver, especially on the harder people. It does kind of depend on spawning. Yeah. Can you uh, pause? Yep. Okay. So. Okay. So down up. or up? So down we'll go up. down. I mean, we kind of want to hit everything. And I believe it's a full. Map. Yeah, a full map, yeah. Yeah. Because it's probably good to get everything before to get, go to the next level. Yeah. So you have a maximum okay. power. Remove a lot of duplicate code. Uh, the bats movement make him tough to hit now, so I need to tune. Fixed a bug where the pause map cleared out the gates immediately. Oh, didn't even know that. Mm. It's like, bloop, bloop, bye gates. <laughs> uh, retain weapons level to level. Oh, that's right. I did play this a tiny bit. And then I went to the next level, and I'm like, where the hell's all my weapons? And I had to get them all back again, but it was almost impossible. So there's the key for a chest. Okay, let's see how many hits this guy. Oh my god, really? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh my god, oh my god. Lots of guys. Lots of room. Added a bunch of code to support new weapons, stop, uh, types, and levels. It's used, but nothing added yet. Rework distribution of enemy types oh and gosh. items for each level. Uh, a, ma a bunch of new enemies, mostly in later levels. All magic items hooked up with unique powers. New sound effects. Uh, special, hopefully cool surprise at the end of every fourth dungeon. I just want to get this thing before... I... Um, hit the 48k limit starting to get creative 
I added a ton of new code, so as usual, it's a work in progress, and I likely introduced some new bugs. Uh, February 27th update, fixed enemy AI systems, revamped weapons. Now each has four levels of power. Ah. Oh my god, how many times do I have to hit this guy? Whoa, this is guy. not good. Yeah. I mean, those run other away, guys... Run away, run away. The mummy has Adam added out. Adamantium wrappings. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, look, look at all at these spiders. spiders! Well, they only take one hit, so... But they are gathering. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, level up weapons by picking up the next version. If you already have a sword, pick up another sword to level up. Edit note. I think there's a bug with the scrolls. Not leveling up with your spells properly, but it doesn't kill the game. Need to investigate tomorrow. Yep, it's not working. I have tons of time today, but blah, blah, blah. Display now shows the current weapon and its level. Oh, there it is. So you're on level one of your pea shooter. Whatever it is called. Um, uh, but you cycle through as normal. Oh, this is a different one. There's nothing, nothing. This is a dead end. Can you hit the select? Oh, I just want to see the... Uh... I think there was dead ends before. Yep. Oh, no, we just never really hit any. <laughs> okay. So, Know it? Ugh, I'm gonna have to run my way out of that. So. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much it retains. Probably only one screen. Because it would have to remember a lot of stuff from level to level. So probably only the one back remembers. Not two back, three back, four back. They would start at zero again. So that makes it a bit easier. Uh. Two screens it remembers. Okay. So the one you're on and the one you came from. Hmm. I tested to level five in MAME. Some bugs I'm aware. I'll just read the... Uh... March 7th update. Uh, refactored enemy spawning system. Added the ability to pre-spawn a certain number of enemies in a room. So sometimes you'll go in rooms yes. and there's already two. Which is very cool. So you're not just powering through rooms with nothing in them mm -hmm. so you, you might have some difficulties getting through them that's a very very good update don't allow enemies to spawn right on top of the player which that's is good. great because that was like deadly like literally deadly like you could kill the game right away they spawn on top of you and zzz. Fixed swords being too powerful still needs tweaking, but I think they play well now. Showed which weapons you have on the pause screen. Well, that's kind of cool. So it'll tell you every weapon you have. Um, for people who have just watched this for the first time, those are gates and you have to wait till they open. So you can't immediately run through. You're stuck in the room till then. Yeah, so that is a spawning point. There's that little gem. Ugh. I wonder how many start shooting two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You remember you can move. go two and then back again and they're all gone mm. is he stuck in a wall oh this is bad yeah i wonder how good the ai is oh it's oh he's trying to get around Oh boy. I take them out one by one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're smart. They're going around corners. Really smart. Uh, when you have the right magic item, only shows items on map, not treasures. Oh Less God. cluttered. So the pink tentacles aren't as bad as the no, mummies. No, they're as bad as the mummies. Are they? Okay. Oh, I need some. Ten second more. delay on the gates. That's not too bad. Oh my god. Usually takes about 10 seconds to get through the level if there's monsters anyway. Uh, tweak the tile set a bit. Uh, a little surprised when you reach the stairs. It had a system in place and I felt the stairs shouldn't be unguarded. <laughs> so there's some guards at the stairs now. There seems to be too many rooms with gates. I'll look into that. Doesn't cause any particular problem. March 14th update. New interior layouts. This is new. That's for sure. Level zero arrows don't bounce off walls anymore, but do two damage instead of one. That's good, because I always felt the arrows did exactly the same as the pea shooter. And I was like, well, why am I using the arrows? Oh my gosh. Pea shooter seemed faster, I think. Uh, cash often restore enemy state when returning and leaving to a room. Great upgrade. So 
So we saw that already. New background sound effects for each level. I wonder how loud this is. Let me see. Well, I think I can turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, find flash find gravestone text when in ghost mode. That's cool. Ghosts are no longer blocked by gates. Oh, there. Those are the. Uh... Okay. Can you can you hit the select button? Thank you. So that's where the command. stairs are. Mm. Oh. Oh. Good night, Miss Command. That's where the so stairs you can go are. Left or right? Mm, probably go left first, I guess. Not yet. <laughs> Turn first. Mm. Ready? I mean, I should go back for that treasure chest, which is right at the, like, first... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. I mentioned earlier that the pinkish room is where the stairs are to the next level, and you mm. get higher bonus the more rooms you explore. Right, okay. Which makes sense. So it counts the number of rooms you've been in. So even if you don't clear up the monsters, you still get bonus for that. I guess there's an advantage to be being really close to the monster, because you can just shoot, shoot, shoot quick. Well, the slow ones, anyway. Mm. Uh, magic item tweaking, fix bugs with gates appearing in rooms they shouldn't. Show dungeon level on pause screen. Hmm. Oh, dungeon level, what level you're in. Uh, restore level three music after defeating boss instead of level zero. I think I fixed a crash if you die too many times and keep playing. This might have been what ZPH saw in the Twitch, Twitch stream. Seems likely, but didn't test enough to find out. I'll get a chance. I might undo my fix and try it. What he wants to add, high score cart support, uh, scoring bonus after defeating the evil wizard based on how many rooms you've explored, minor graphics tweaks, and gameplay tuning. Uh, March 21st update. Update this week feels like some small solid improvements. I think it's coming together as a game. It also is at that fun stage where I'm out of ROM. So every edition requires a bit of cleanup or refactor to clear up space. It's been interesting to see how many bytes of ROM space each edition what, what, what did you get? Ring. Oh. I'm guessing that your experience is more with harder enemies and less with smaller enemies. Um, fixed bug with losing weapons after each level. Again. Uh, fixed bug with map sprites getting chopped off in some emu emulators and real hardware. Fixed first pass of high score cart support. Haven't tested it thoroughly, so I've been interested to know how well it works. Finally. Yay! So how do you swap it? the other it? button. It's really deadly. Is it? Yeah, it kills things. Oh, it has to be, oh, it has to be side horizontal. to side. Oh, is it? I don't know. Oh, it knocks him back. That's good. Yeah, it's yeah. still three. Was it? Yeah. Or two? Three. Mm. Mm. They're slow. Get in their face. Oh, boy. Oh, God, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, each weapon's good for certain things. So it was fewer hits. He has to be right on you. Yeah, so it's a bit more dangerous, but they're a bit better. Uh, okay, I need the map again. Okay. Need to see where I have and haven't been. Uh, oh, pretty much everywhere. So to, all the right -hand side to the left, been. and then there's probably a room to the left, left there. Left. And then I have to go back out and, yeah. and to the left. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, first pass of having three difficulty levels. See instructions right now. It just changes how health is restored after each level. Uh, a couple new enemy types. I'm pretty happy about these. I think they turned out well. Award exploration bonus after each level. 100 points per room. But reaching all 64 rooms is a bonus of 10,000. So it's well worth looking at Seeing every room. every room. So let's at least try that in the first level. Okay, so I'm back. Scoring tweaks, some other minor tweaks. Let me know when you need the map. Uh, March 25th update, which is this version I think we're playing. Crossbow says, not nearly as deadly as it used to be. No, it was pretty rough. Nerfed it down quite a bit on the latest builds. So, uh, um, down, up, I, down. Well, be safe. There you go. Uh, left. Okay, I haven't gone left yet. Yeah. So these guys, Should they... Should have gone around. There we go. Well, Get away from not them. not that hard. You have a key, right? Mm -hmm. Yay, points. <laughs> Hooray for points. Uh, latest version. Quite a few bug fixes and tweaks. I'm calling this Alpha Zero. Hoping to have some kind of beta final version in a month or so. I'm in the cycle of optimizing code to free up bytes um, of ROM space and then immediately using it. At some point, I need to call it done and get to the next game. Oh, he has another idea for a game. Oh, he's got a bow now. So that should be... They're slower, but more powerful. Good. Which is good. So you've got three weapons now. Hmm. Still take a lot. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, long oh, list I of I <laughs> Wrong button. Long list of ideas. Uh, at this point, I don't really have space to add a whole lot anyways. Mostly but fixing bugs and tuning to make it more fun, which is going to take a little while. Huge thanks to Crossbow, Crossbow, Yay. for finding several of these bugs and giving me good details to help him find and fix them. So the updates to this one, updating enemy spawn rates based on difficulty. Fix some bugs with magic items and magic bolt spell. Um, so if you pick a higher difficulty, the enemies spawn faster which which makes sense that's a it makes a lot of sense so if you're on easy it's gonna be less enemies coming at you so it take five wow it's quite a bit but it takes a long time because the they're slow so slow <clears throat> So I do have instructions, so I'm going to look that up, and we'll get to those instructions in a bit. Does it list? Oh, it doesn't list the items. What are those? Mm. What is that? Fireball, he says. Oh, oh that's what it was. Is it limited? Uh, no. They're all unlimited. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, two hits. Way better and faster than the bow. Thank you, crossbow. Oh, good night, Carl G. Thank good you night. for making your awesome games. Continue to make awesome games. Mm -hmm. We will continue to play them. Um, tweak started placement every fourth level. Fixed a bug where everything's staying black when unpause pausing within the boss room. Fixed a bug with arrows wrapping vertically through open passageways. Fixed a bug with not allowing items in starting room not working. Fixed a bug with weapon pallets after picking up magic hat. Magic hat. Mm. Uh, added some randomness to treasure chests. Surprises await. I also took a stab at a first pass on an instruction manual attached as PDF. I'll look for a better manual template at some point, but at least it's something to go by. Oh, missed. They are small. I guess they're not any smaller than the arrows. <clears throat> okay, instructions. Redhead Stepmom says, this is fun. It is. I love dungeon crawling games. <laughs> Especially random dungeon crawling games. Where the maze is different, where the pickups are different, and you 
upgrade your weapons and you have different enemies this is like like heaven <laughs> <laughs> i love games like this yeah they're so good this might be the first roguelike <sighs> trying to think In this style, where it's screen by screen, yeah, I was trying. Like, there's certainly other games where there is. Oh, you're getting so close with your. I'm not trying to, I just. See, they go on angle Back sometimes. Off. Go around. No, they only take two hits now. Not that guy. For the 7800. Mm. Probably is. Because there's a lot less games for the 7800 than 2600. Not familiar with all of them because I haven't played. The, the guy just walked out the door. It's <laughs> like, I'm out of here. The, the two power. Oh, there he is. He's come back. Just needed a. That little, was hilarious. Needed a little break. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what's in this room? It's like, nothing. I'm coming back. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't played all of the back catalog of 7800 Homebrew yet. There isn't a huge amount compared to 2600. There's like hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of 2600 games. 7800 games, there's. 100? Maybe? This doesn't count hacks or demos or. Getting hurt with bats. No, because you, you have to make sure you're facing the right direction. Thousands, Arena Foot says. Thousands. Well, you do want to. Yeah, you do need that now. Yeah! Ten. <laughs> At least it doesn't waste it when you're full. It doesn't go, oh, yummy, potion. Too bad you wasted it. I find those guys sometimes drop uh, diamonds. The yeah. mummies. Mummies? Oh. They're spawning like crazy for that one. Um, like if you discount all the games that are hacks and my first game where you shoot the thing. <laughs> and the thing respawns and you shoot it again. Mm. Uh, cuts it down a bit, but there are, there are a lot, a lot of 2,600 games. Then it's hundreds. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me look at the 7,800 list. Trebor keeps an excellent 7,800 list. Arena Foot's the keeper of the 2,600 games, and Trebor is the keeper of... The 7800 homebrew Let's see. Is that the one? Nope, that's an earlier one. Homebrews and hacks. Mm -hmm. He mixes the hacks in as well, so it's really hard to tell. And he mixes demos in too. Um, oh, it's so hard to tell. It doesn't, it doesn't label tools. It labels hacks. It labels utilities. Oh come, on. oh, come on. I would say it's around 100 or even less. I should really compress this list oh down. Oh my god, I'm going to so die. That I, stop dying. 27. There we go. I have to play level 2. You have to complete it. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm getting further and further away from level two. Oh um, no! But you know where it is. So. Well, not really. Yeah, you haven't uh, no, been it, helping me. No, it marks me. it. Marks on the map. I map. know, but you haven't helped me look at the map in the last like you twenty asked minutes. Me. Do you want to look at the map? Uh, I will need to. Yeah, I think now I'm at the do. end. Now you do. Yeah, I'm at the end. Okay. Yep. Oh, one more room. Uh, left, uh, up, right. Right, up, and that's it. Right. Yeah, that's easy enough. Got it. Oh, it should have the button to what? go back off the map. What? Because the button does nothing on the map, right? You were just in the map. Oh, to, to go off? So you don't have to go unpause. Mm -hmm. You just have to press the button. There you go. There's something to do. <laughs> Bido Empire. <laughs> right? Was it right? Here? Uh, ready? Yeah. Yep. Last one. There we go. That's an easy fix, yeah. It's just a... Did you press the button or press pause? Then go off the map, yeah. Okay, you want me to look at the map again? Mm, the exit? It's I one it's way up. for a while, and when I hit a, when I hit a 
decision point, we'll look at the map. Okay. That's pretty one way. Just need to replace the button. Out is the best way. Yeah. Need to composite mod mine. Dragonfly's on his way. Yes. Dragonfly is an excellent cart. I, I had... Like, if you're going to play a game... The only problem I have with the Dragonfly is the short file names. Other than that, it's it's really, really good. But having... Because it only reads the first eight characters, I have directories within directories, and they're all the same first characters. Mm -hmm. Because this would be um, labeled Wizards, Dungeon, and then the date. So all it gets is, like, Wizards. Mm -hmm. Wizards, 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 Wizards. And that's all you see when you scroll through. But it has two lines of display, so it can... It could either use up both those lines of a display or it can scroll. It like puts the first eight or ten and then goes scroll. And then you can see the rest of it where you're at. So that's something something to think about. So I do like that when you're backtracking, there's a really slow spawn. Yes. So that you're just kind of flying through the rooms you've already been in. Oh, it only seems to remember a couple back for Because if it's a new room it does have an auto spawn, but if mm. it's a room you've been in, yeah, it's but if, clear. If 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 you're only one room back, like if you duck yeah. back out and back in, everything is still where it was. So yeah. I think it only saves that for one room or something like that. Like yeah, one room back. One room back, not yeah. the room forward. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. When I'm oh, excellent. Take them one at a time. You don't even need them all, because if I can they, leave all, them. Okay, there you go. I take them one at a time. Um, yeah, if you, but you probably own other things are coming too. No, no. <laughs> you just need to get them out of the way. I guess so. Ugh, things are spawning. No, this is dangerous. No. Trouble. Trouble. I just need to... Pick off the bad other guys, yeah. Oh, what is that? That was weird. Whatever it was. You're throwing a door or something. <laughs> It was like a square thing. Hopefully we'll write new firmware to increase the file name size. I, I hope so. I don't know if that's a hard thing to do. He does he does read a full header of the A78. Um, so he's able to display longer like things. moves faster, but... So you kind of have to be close to them. Oh my God. Are they special ones? Yeah. Well, I don't know. They take a lot of hits. So, do these guys. so can I go through without killing them all, or should I kill them all? I think it's a limitation and can only show the 8.3 format of the name. Well, then it's... It does store the full name, because... You know, it is like FAT32 formatted, so the whole name is there. He just needs to be able to know how to read it. So I don't think it's... Of course, I, I don't know how the hardware interface is. Maybe the hardware interface only? No. Nostalgic26 heading to sleep. Good Thanks night. for tuning Thank you in. For tuning in. Enjoyed the games you played tonight. So Good night and thanks for the stream. You're fun. very welcome. My turn finally. <laughs> You're on the pause button. Me? Yeah. Sure. Do you want to see now? No, right off I the do bat? Not. No, I don't need to. I can explore a bit. Oh my god. What? Oh, where'd that bat go? I killed him. I did? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember. It's just one, one, one hit. Yeah. I don't remember throwing anything at him. you did. Maybe I accidentally threw it in oh, as no I turned it around. There's no door here. Uh, yeah, up above. Oh, sorry. It's your starting. There we go. Cleared out. Garbage cans. No. <laughs> they mm. are pillars. Anything? Diagonals. How do they work? Mm -hmm. Ooh, a key right away. Mm. Very nice. That is good because you... Nothing worse than encountering a chest. Well, I had a... But I only found one key. And there were two chests, so I guess That's true. I guess you only get one shot it's at one chest. Random. But it is random. I think you were saying. Oh, the diagonals are, are hard. I never use the diagonals. They're at a this. bit weird. Um, 
Yeah, they are. And they kind of they kind of stagger a bit too. Mm -hmm. They don't go like they they go uh, 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 a bit. That might be a resolution issue. So we've got three. Yeah, very lucky. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Devil Guy? He keeps turning around. So we've only got we've got three weapons. It right? looks like one a part of the door didn't uh, retract. Uh, mm. The gate doesn't fully go into the wall. It's not, what is that, pocket doors? Pocket doors? It's a pocket door, but it's not quite, doesn't Going quite in fit all in. the way. Hitting. That happens often with the gates, so sometimes they don't fully retract. Oh, and then they get stuck. They get, they're broken. They require fire at five. The um, blobs, I think, are about ten. Oof. It's a lot. The blobs are really... Those are two with uh, the fireball. Two. Okay, that's very good. That, he's five, so... Five? Okay. Yeah. On level one fireball? Yeah. Rooms oh. do get to a point where they're done, right? Nothing else spawns. Mm -hmm. Seems to. Seems to be that way. I've killed most things, and sometimes you R just seem to have con continuous spawning. Some of them never seem to stop spawning. I think it's too... Well, we're on medium, so we could play it harder. Oh, Ooh, a ghost. ghosty. Can you kill ghosts? Oh, yeah. They go through walls, though. I think. Didn't they say they go through walls? Oh. My bullets don't. No, they're not going through a wall. You think a ghost would go through a wall? Hmm. Okay. Well, you stay there, then. Cute. Yeah. Very cute. Very nice ghost. Ghosts are just like other enemies, but take more hits. Take oh, okay. Yeah. Are there, is there anything cool. that goes through walls in this game, or is that just a little bit too, too complex, too evil? <laughs> Actually, be easier, mm -hmm. but um, but that might be too e evil because you know that one room where it was kind of a maze. Yeah, you would get. You'd be yeah. you'd be screwed pretty badly. Just you when you are in ghost form. Oh, ah, yeah, interesting. So you get the advantage. So you as a ghost are more powerful than the ghosts in the game. That's how it should be. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you don't have any weapons, but you have evasive maneuvers that are very good. Mm -hmm. Should I kill everything, or should I just kind of keep going? I'm just going to keep going. Well, yeah. I mean, you want the points, but at the same time... I'm not going to go out of my way to no, I delay don't. That's, my game. That's kind of... I just kind of kill Obvious. kill what's in my way and keep going. Yeah. I don't. I don't kill everything necessarily everything on the screen. It's just take too long. Yeah. It'd be boring at that point. You can get a lot of points. Where are you going, mummy? The mummies can drop things. And if there's like a limitation of one thing on the screen at a time. Maybe. So you should get the thing and then start killing yeah, things. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, there's one room and I killed the mummy and it dropped a diamond. I was mm. like, oh. Yeah, it's more important to explore the rooms and get those weapons and magic artifacts to level up your power. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Because you'll need it for later levels. Because right now we're still on level one of all the weapons. Mm -hmm. Which I would expect from just being at level one. Mm -hmm. Spiders on the doors? The spawning is good. It's not cheaty anymore. Like, you've, no, it's never been it's spawned on top. So he Ooh. must, like... He was hard. The bat was yeah, a double. It was double took hit. two. Ooh, a double hit bat. Yeah, was a the gray green or single and uh, interesting. So he must like quadrant off the uh, the screen for spawning. And what the manual that you don't have, or have that you have, sorry, have doesn't it. tell you is that each Here. maze the basic enemies start to get more difficult. Yeah. Oh my god. Wanna. Look up things for interesting things in the manual there mm -hmm. while I'm playing level two. I think know most of it. see. Tips, tricks, hints, and cheats. Oh my god. I think I have to exit. Oh, I've got the key for the thing. Yeah, I got a diamond. Mm. Um, seems like you should Weapons, get items, and treasures. More. Oh, there he dropped a diamond. You start with only the magic bolt spell. Hidden in each maze are additional magic weapons. There's a bow and an arrow, yep. a sword and a fireball. Yep. Finding each of e uh, finding another of each to increase its power. There's four levels of power per weapon. Oh, so we have all the weapons now. Uh, for example, continuing 
picking up scrolls to increase the level of the fireball. Mm. Once you acquire a weapon, oh. you will keep it for the rest of the game. Extra bow. Yeah, so that's a level two bow. So. She's like, hmm, is it gonna be better? Oh, might be. Might might. So slow though. Bounced off the wall. It bounces off of things. Oh my gosh, that's Which is cool. Good. That's really cool. Um, okay, I need the map. Sorry. It's actually easier for me to do it. Uh, the... Okay, right and up. Careful, there's a bat right there when you. Oops. I'm gonna try playing with this for a while. And you can shoot more than one oh, bow. Oh, nice. That's the advantage of the arrows. More than Find all the gold gems three. and other treasures hidden in three. each maze. Three. could do three. Oh, really? One, two, Some treasures three. only appear in later levels. Treasures increase your score. Oh, oh, oh. cool. That he's hard. With my multiple arrows. Get out of the way! Uh, you gotta run out of the way. You can't let them gang up on you. See? You grab stuff. That minotaur takes a lot oh of hits. Oh my god. Oof. You're down to 23. Kill those bats. They take two hits, remember? They're not as easy Jeez. as the green ones. Oh um, my god. 23. We have seen like two potions in the whole thing. Yeah, so far. Stingy with the potions, Bido Empire. Stingy. I like the arrows because there's multiple. Like, you can shoot a lot of times. The easiest way to defeat the evil wizard is... Oh, well, slow down. Way ahead. Uh, run, run away, run away. I find the fireball faster, but... Yeah? Faster yeah, than... It shoots faster. Oh my god, I, I can't, you... I can't. <gasps> Oh, that's what I need. It's Let's like. Try. Don't you find it faster? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh god. god. I need, I need that badly. I'm gonna switch back to the. Arrow. Yeah. No, this is way faster. Yeah. Maybe it's better at level two. Why are you killing it all? Get out of the room! <laughs> Get out! Just keep going! Look at all those minotaurs! You can't kill them all! Oh my god. I won't. <laughs> Look at those minotaurs. <laughs> they're so I'm, I'm gonna pick them so off cute. one by one. They're so cute. They are. The thing is, they keep respawning, so... Oh. There, there seems to be a limit to the number of things that spawn. So you can go around and go out. You can run right past them. I want to get the points. Oh, of course you Um, yeah. Easiest way to They're defeat the evil wizard is to circle around the edges of the room, assuming you have bouncing arrows. You can get a lot of hits in while you run away. He moves fast, so don't let him corner you. So at some point, there is an evil wizard. Ah. Uh. It is worth the time to explore each level and find all the weapon upgrades and magic items before using the stairs. Each level gets harder, so this will set up better for what's coming. There, I killed them all. Ah, after you've fully leveled up a weapon to level 4, you will see other very valuable treasures in the maze instead oh. of more upgrades. Because oh. there's a maximum. Yeah. Don't forget that if you become a ghost, pause right away and use the map to find the shortest ah, route to a gravestone. Smart, smart. You can't always get there, but 30 seconds is about enough time for six to seven rooms if you know where you're going ahead of time. Hmm. Mm. Hopefully you're that close to one. Interesting. Cool. I like the bouncing arrows. Ooh, ooh, upgrade. Map? Fire? Maybe no, maybe? No. No, it's a map. Which is fine. Yeah, you can jump. You want to see the map? Um, you can tell me when. Um, yeah. Not yet. Not Which yet. Not yet. Wait till I'm safe. Wait till I'm safe. Is it the pause or the select? It's the pause. Yeah, don't be clicking other buttons. Okay. 
Arrows! So many arrows out in your direction. So many. See, they're not that bad if you just... Yeah. The arrows are so good for the number that you get. Okay. Pause? Pause, not power. There we go. Oh. So I'm going to go down. Because... Up, yeah, up is the stairs. Down, down part? Yeah, and then I'm going to go along and then the... around. Bottom. Mm. Oh, see, there you missed. Yeah. A, a point there. I would go down and then come back through and do do the. the yeah, because that parts. whole down area. It's gonna be one one section. Is one section is one yeah. way in and one way out. Yeah. Okay. Pause. Not power. Careful. Hi, Tari. Hello, sir. You here to play? Are you here to play? Are you the one who made my pants dirty? Yeah, I've got dirty paws, he says. No. Have you played with your Atari today? Mm -hmm. You know that was the slogan. Mm -hmm. Have you played Atari today? Mm -hmm. Hit him in the horn. Oh no, he's missing his horn. Oof. Those minotaurs. Yeah. Depending on the number of minotaurs that are... Oh, ghosty. Seven. Ten? Ten or eleven? The, the minotaur? minotaur? Yeah, I think it's ten or eleven. Lots, lots and lots. You need those weapon upgrades. Mm. That's why you need to explore the dungeon, because... Ghosts just... are presents on gravestone rooms. Mm. Oh, that's why they're or so present, infrequent. sorry, present on gra gravestone rooms. That makes sense. That does make sense. The ghosts of wizards past. <laughs> Hanging around, so close to being revived. says he quit at 200,000. Oh my, God. my goodness. What level did you get to? Well, um, Fido Empire says like every four levels there's it, something. Everything's slow. Did you see that? You had a yeah. ton of stuff on one line. Yep. It's one of those systems that slows down when things get hectic. It's not like the 2600s. Like we run at an exact speed. Yeah. <laughs> you have to keep up with us. <laughs> Oh, I completed two runs of the game with all Jeez. rooms explored. Wow. Wow. It was getting late, so I had to shut it off. <laughs> ugh, ugh. I may want the map. Soon? Now. Because I think I've looped, or can you press well. it? So nope, up white. Oh down. You have to go I'm to the left go and one. down and up, up one. Yeah. Well up one to finish it off and then and back. And then a left and down. Up, down, left, down, down, down. Okay. Yeah. Good night, Cafe Man 2D. Good night, Cafe Man 2D. Thanks for hanging out. Mm hmm Would have been a level eleven when I stopped playing last night. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. And how long did that yeah, take? Yeah, I bet that took a while. Are you clearing maps? Although you can run through rooms without killing everything in it. But, you can, uh, but it's generally a bad idea if you don't get the weapon upgrades, right? 
Oh, no, you, oh, have I, to, oh, no, you mean you can, run through them. Yeah, like you don't have to kill everything in the room. Right. That's true. Yeah. Yes, I was exploring all 64 rooms on each. Whoa, that's that's <laughs> a lot of... For the bonus at the end, nice. Oh, okay. You would think that those devils with the, with the staffs wouldn't be mm. would be way 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 harder than uh, gray bats, <laughs> yeah. which take the exact name. Oh God! You know what just happened? What? It's the dead end room. Yes, and the room that I was just in. Yeah. There is a minotaur right at the entrance. Oh no! So I'm gonna have to just. It was right on the cable. Those are orcs, I believe, not devils or demons, really. Oh, okay. The red ones? They've got horns. Mm, they look like devils, but... Oh, oh. That's what I gotta Good do. For you. Good for you. Luckily, those minotaurs are very slow. Yeah, thank goodness. Hi. You're a bad cat. He's destroying squishing. things. He's just squishing. He's nice. <laughs> okay. Just being a squishy cat. Is doing is. some kneading over there? Yeah, good. Making good biscuits? Making biscuits. Are you making biscuits? I'm making biscuits on oh. the pillow. Oh, you're going to steal one of the stuffies? Okay, I need... No. Oh, not yet, because I'm at not dead yet. ends. Oh. Uh, now I need the map. Okay. Please. Okay, so I'm just going to get out. Right, right. Up, 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 up. Okay. You want to go back here, though. Oh, is so it all dead ends? Go, yeah. You want to go back. Up, up, up. Right, right. And then up. Right, right. Four. Okay. Up, and then when you hear, see the left, take the left. So okay. Down, right, right. Up, up, through. up to the left. Okay. okay. Let me know if you need it again. Not for a bit. Right. There's going to be a bunch. Don't go in there. No, 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 no. You don't. There's nothing in there for cats. Says, yes, there is. I know there's something in there for cats. Something in there for this cat. And it's an HDMI cable. <laughs> and it's got spongy, spongy goodness. Crunchy, crunchy mm -hmm. cords. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah? Crunchy cords? Until I hit the metal and then I stop. Because I know it's done then. Aww. All HDMI cables must be eliminated. <laughs> right, right, kitties? Yes. They must be destroyed. That is a smart thing to keep these rooms cleared. It's like you've you've done these rooms. Well, you can yeah. You can yeah. fly through. It does them. definitely. Thank you, Dan ABC, for subscribing. Yay, thank you. He said he was going to. That's the person I think he said he was going to I renew gotcha. it during the show. I don't know if it's on delay or he's actually still here. <laughs> he hasn't talked in a while. No, it showed up in the chat. So. But I've had Darcy resubscribe, oh. and it just doesn't show up for two or three hours. Really? Oh, well, finally became available. Uh, okay. Oh, that is a dead end, so never mind. Not yet. Nope. Nope. It's only been single path so far. Mm. Yeah, this is much improved. Much, much improved. Oh, it's great. Here? Okay. Uh, I think yeah. it's left, but... Pretty sure it's left. You yep. got two to left. left. New rooms. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's go down, Mr. Minotaur, just a little bit. Stop it. Get around him. That's what I was doing. Yeah. I was leading him down. off now there yes, we go he's rambly and slow so slow Ooh. yay finally oh so stingy with them almost to full again so stingy oh this is dead end mm -hmm. um dead end room uh, you just run back through if you want 
Yeah. Watch out. Stay uh, close to the door. They're gonna overwhelm you. Yeah, no, the no, diagonal no, is really done. hard. There. It is hard. Have you found any other magic artifacts yet? No. There, there, yeah, no, there's a... Um, I found okay, a ring. I, need I found the ring. So I think Up that's what the ring is. I don't left. know. Yeah, ring. Um, I don't know. I guess. I don't know what it does. Does it say so... on there? So... Up, left. That's Ooh. weird. Um, I need to go, so... Oh! Up, left, left, and just keep following the path. Exit. Why are you following a path? Because there's a Just empty the middle room. one, but yeah, the I... stuff to the left is you have to backtrack all the way back to... No. Nope. Up, left, around, and then up, and then... That's a oh, dead that's end. Dead That's end. where you started. I still need to get to that room. Yeah. Okay. So you need to get here. Up, left. Right? Yep. And to there, and then you come back all the way through. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, map and key reset each maze. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, one key opens all the chests? No, you have to get multiple keys. For the keys. whole... Oh, maybe. Is I don't true? know. Did I have a, a key still? this no you found a key really early on oh uh, and then on level two this is oh <gasps> wizard's hat i'll take that whatever that does does it explain it in the manual what the wizard's hat does so. it's an artifact i assume oh well it just made me way more powerful did it oh you have your you can kill the red demons and oh no no Never it's just mind. i think it's just an artifact oh Summing DF. It's just points. Oh, eat. find all magic items to increase your powers. Each magic magic item will give you abilities, but you have to play to discover what they are. Maybe that is for the fireball. Mm -hmm. Let's have to go back around. The key will open all chests on the maze. That's why there's only one key. For each level. Uh, okay, so if you find the key early, that's the best. Mm -hmm. You think the game's too easy on normal? We haven't been really in any danger of dying well, it's, it's, on two it's, levels. I mean, our health does go down, but we no, it, that's true. We haven't. The map, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So right, right. Oh, do I have to go all the way back to that? All the top way back corner? up. Yeah. Okay. So right, right, right up, up, all the way, and then follow, right, and then follow the path, right and up, then right go up, up, right up, right yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You'll we'll want it uh, maxed out. Each magic item will increase your default magic bolt weapon. Oh, okay. This and trust shooter? me, you want that maxed out. This pea shooter thing. You mean? Yeah, I guess so. I'll have to try it again. I'm on level two. It is very fast. Extremely. And you can shoot more than one. There was something fun on some YouTube channels mm -hmm. that were like they gave a secret word at the near the end of the stream. Oh, really? <laughs> for people who are still around. Oh. And so you know which people actually watch to the end. Oh, okay. I think I'm here. So the secret word today is Minotaur. <laughs> so if Oh. Oh. If you are still watching on YouTube, because mm -hmm. the people watching live are just here. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, type Minotaur in the comments. Oh, I see. No, that's just too not powerful enough. Yeah. I'm... Oh my god. These pea shooters. Minotaur! <laughs> Still watching, yay. Oh, Linus Tech Tips to win the other day. 
Did they? Oh, Where they okay. had a secret website to score the latest graphics cards, oh. but you had to enable closed caption to see it. Whoa. Oh, wow. fancy, fancy. I thought you couldn't do manual closed captions anymore on YouTube. They disabled that. Okay. Yeah. Because people were just typing whatever they wanted. Maybe he's like grandfathered in because he's been, oh, maybe, yeah. been there for so long. But they disabled... I maybe think, disabled um, I think those guys might come back actually no well no, we'll have to not. see I might have to go two away from them they did because what was shown didn't match what Linus was saying on the screen yeah some people were being devious with it because mm. it was community based uh, closed captioning oh. because it was like oh people can help out but people were not helping out sometimes no. they were being, being malicious yeah, well. and typing very very naughty things I'm <laughs> sure so it might be enabled for the creator yes that would make sense but nobody's not able to community like community closed captions community so somebody that speaks Estonian is not able to help anymore with English channels mm. Which is kind of sucks for non-English speaking yeah. countries. There's probably not much they could do about that though. But they have auto translates now, right? Yeah. Which uses... are not great, but they're better than so, nothing. Yeah, you, know, you get the gist of it, I guess. Yeah. Because you know YouTube's owned by Google, and Google has you know, okay Google translate. translate. Yeah. Watch out for the guy behind you. Yeah, he's harder than the ones in front, so I have to clear a path first. The good thing about the arrow is you can run away while shooting and it'll bounce back. Yep. It's comical when, uh, when it gets it wrong sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's games you can play with translations where you translate something back and forth like 10 times mm. and it gets worse and worse. And, <laughs> worse. Yeah. and it's like a game of telephone, but with, with translations. I can't remember what it was used for for something. I can't, it was just used for for comedy. Oh, it's like, oh, I know. I think it was used for like a, a sketch. Like somebody oh. was doing sketch comedy. Oh. And then they just kept doing that sketch over and over. But each time they ran it through the Google Translate. Oh. And the sketch got more and more absurd. But they had to do what the translate was telling them to do so they just kept redoing oh i see right so, so whatever it translated it to that's what the next had one to, had to be they had to act out oh that's funny it's like i'm going to go wash the dishes now yeah maybe it's like i'm gonna go break the dishes now yeah, yeah. smash <laughs> <laughs> very very clever yay a sword upgrade yay. should i try it Ah. Uh. Oh, there's too many of them. There's too many. Where's my my trusty arrow? Yeah. You want your distance. You want your distance. Um yeah. I always like it uh ah, stuck in the corner. When like an idiom or a saying is translated into English, oh, it just doesn't and, work. And and it's you're trying to figure oh, out. Yeah. Sometimes you can understand what they're trying to say, but it just it doesn't. It there's something off or wrong about it. Right. And you're sitting there going, I think it means this, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's very funny. Level three sword is my favorite sword power up. But not the most powerful weapon. Mm. I just like it's the uh, the bow and arrow. It's fast. You can shoot multiple of them. They bounce, they bounce. back. Um, you can have like a ton of things flying around the room. You can. I mean, the sword is is nice, but you have to do it from from the side. It's very dangerous, especially. When it you're feels small. very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do it from the side. That's yeah. the if you could do it four ways, I'd be like, hmm, maybe, maybe sword. Because it does move them back. Mm. These don't. Risk reward, yeah. Yeah, that's what every game like this is like. Oh, oh, oh. Ow! Is that uh, upgrades your fireball? Yep. Yeah. Ah, 
Ah, this get away, bat. get away, get away. Run right away. Oh, the Minotaur is so funny the way he moves. Don't, 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 don't. Right, let's use the fireball then. Ugh, one at a time. No. No? And it doesn't seem more powerful. You can't, you can't. I would say you could throw as many as the, maybe it's not as fast as the bone arrow. Clear out. Clear it out. Ah! No, don't corner yourself! Ah, I didn't. I was trying to go around, but I got stuck you on the wall. You get stuck on Look, the wall sometimes. He's confused. He is very <laughs> confused. Here, I'll use the fireball. Oh, you can. You can. You're just a little slower, so I thought it was only one at a time. Mm. One at a time. Are guarded when you first enter the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, there was. There's, they're always there. It's, it's, it's not, not as fast. fast. It's, it's definitely not as fast. And they don't bounce. <laughs> Which is just fun. I'm sticking with the arrows. Oh, you like the arrows? Stick with the arrows. I'm used to them. I know them. They know I think me. the upgraded arrow is better. Yep. If you if if I had a level three um, fireball, maybe that's. I'd yeah. probably go level three fireball, but I've got a level two arrow, yeah. so I'm like, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll backtrack as much as I can till there's a decision. Me? Oh. Not yet. Then we'll look because okay. there's no point if there's. Very true. I just have to memorize. Mm -hmm. There is a decision point. Oh. Okay. Yeah. right to the right okay oh there's one more uh, artifact to get it looks like one or two depending on their size oh, there's nothing there's nothing in here first just throw arrows they'll hit something eventually yep I believe the artifacts are set up so there's only one per maze. Okay. Like the big ones. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. All the things are catching up from all the rooms I skipped. Just yeah. Then. They're like, we're all gonna spawn in one room. <laughs> See, 41 health still. This is okay, not. Okay, so there's there's a, a way up and a way down. Yeah. So pick a, pick a way. Oh, 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 get ah. out of the way! Go down. Nope. Bye. As I say, I've got lots of health, of course. Mm -hmm. Look at all of them. It's like boom, 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 boom. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Right. So there's only, you only need to do it I have a key. You do have a key. Here, take some of those. <laughs> the arrows don't bounce like you would expect them to bounce. Which is like corner, 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 corner. Like if you went... I still have to deal with them when I get back there. Yeah. Long distance arrows! Yeah, they only go at 45 to 45 to 45. They mm. don't go ch -ch 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 yeah. up a passageway. You know, they bounce the opposite way because they came each time. Yeah. yeah. So they they um, do a negative on the Y and X axis mm. rather than just on one axis. 60 degrees, not 45. Yeah. 
160. Okay. So, 180. Do you want to know where to go? Uh, do you remember probably where that you way. Went? I... But I'll clear these out, then we'll look. Because if there's like a one dead end thing, I'll probably want to backtrack a bit before. Okay, let's take a look. So, just one to the left. One to the left. And then. Go uh... right, up, and then right. Oh, yes. Left. Mm -hmm. Pot of gold. Kill some bats. Me. Sixty degrees. So. Captain Classic. What are we going to do after this? Because it's level three. Mm-hmm. It's okay. And then what was it? It was right. To the right. And that was the last room, unexplored room. Yep. Pile of bird seed. Okay. Okay. And then you it have was to go left, all left, the way left, back. left, 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 left for a while. Uh, okay. yeah, we can look at the thing. Okay. So left, 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 left. Up. up. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. <laughs> and then you get back there. Okay. Left as far as you can go. And then up one, and then right. <laughs> Excuse me. Because this is not a short game. No. Maybe we'll take a look a little around level three and then call it. I think that sounds that sounds fair. It's almost we're it's nine o'clock now, so yeah. it's our Long. time. Yeah. Three hours. So I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of level three, but yeah. we can maybe just see a few rooms and Yeah. Just power through the rooms. Yeah, exactly. Look for maybe find the artifact, yeah. see a couple of creatures that are new, or the sounds one like creature. Bad. I don't know if there's anything. I want to see the design of the rooms, yeah. if they have Color. pillars, the colors, yeah. any new monsters that might be in there. Catch this the highlights. needs a save, this game, I think. Yeah. Do you get saves on 7800 oh, games? Yeah, there's a save key. Oh. Right? Lots of games have, well, not Can you lots. save with yeah. the Dragonfly? Yeah. Uh, no, not Dragonfly. The, no. um, the Atari box. Oh. He definitely needs a save. Hmm. But he says he's like right out of room. So yeah, I told you they'd come back. Ugh. So I don't know if he's even thinking about implementing a save. Because we've been playing this for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we've just begun. Oh, now they're coming. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, if I was wanting to do this a long, like long term, I would want to. Really, they don't spawn on you, eh? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, oh they on. do at this level. I'm just gonna. Those, those guys aren't gonna come around, so I'm just gonna take no. this guy out. Kit. Little whiskers. Little hot breath cat. Hi. There you go. Level three, your turn. Woot. Exploration bonus. <laughs> right, so now you know how long it took me to get through 11 mazes. That was two. <laughs> two. <laughs> but we were kind of clearing out rooms a bit. Like, oh, see that? The arrow got stuck in the wall. Bug, I'm waving my hands to find it. Arrow got stuck in the wall. <laughs> oh, cause cause it's textured. Maybe. Oh my god. Invasive maneuvers. I would. Yeah. <laughs> Is there an end? Well, that it says in the manual that you fight the dark wizard, right? Yeah. So there's a crossbow is, do you just do the end over and over again? <gasps> there's a snake. Oh my God. So the snake's going to be harder than the minotaur. Oh my God. He looks like I, he moves fast. Oh, he does move fast. He's probably as hard as the minotaur, but moves three times as fast. Oh, I reported the arrow stick issue and he's working on it. Of course you'd, you'd find it. It's probably only that textured wall because all the other ones are flat. 
Yes, essential, and then it starts back over again, but all the enemies increase in health points and it gets harder. So is it at level four? Yeah, that... I've noticed they are increasing it in health points. Yeah. The, the red orky guys uh, are harder. Are harder. So each level you kind of just get reset. Oh. oh, he didn't take Oh, much. they're not bad. They're faster, but hmm. not not a threat. See, the green spiders now take two bow shots. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys probably still take ten. Mm -hmm. Ooh, trees. Nice trees. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. You can't shoot through anything. Even treasure that's supposed to be on the ground. So the snakes aren't really that scary. They, move. they remind me of... They're, they're weaker than the, the mummies, but they do move faster. Mm. I feel like that guy's moving faster. Oh my god. Like those green spiders take two hits now. I swear yeah. they took less. They did, yeah. So they've got more health points. Oh lord. There's another enemy you haven't seen. I don't like them. They are scary. Like on this level, we haven't seen it because we'll keep going till we see it. One more hit. Oh, there you go. How do you know one more hit? They've all upgraded. Counted. Oh, that's true. Oh, let's see. Or we can just head for the stairs and see level four. I think so, but further in, you'll know when you see them. They're cool, but they can be a pain. Oh, upgrade. I know what we should do. We should just head for the stairs. Well, I, the stairs. I still have to get to the stairs. Oh yeah, we don't have a map. Is that the map or is that a weapon upgrade? Fireball upgrade. Fireball, okay. Level three fireball! Is it, is crossbow's excited. <laughs> See? Because <laughs> then you can use a fireball on these guys. Get them first. And then you can be even with their difficulty again. Is auto fire on the table? Because I would like auto fire, I think. That would be very, very handy. It's nice that the enemies kind of move back sometimes. They're not just, they don't just do a beeline for you. Closest to that is level 4 magic bolt when it shoots uh, crazy fast. I would just, just go. Oh, you're going to try it out. Three. Ooh. Ooh! So that's even better yeah, like than that. last level. Ooh, that's good. You need your claws cut tonight, mister. <laughs> that was sharp. T-shirt destroying the claws. Oh, it still it takes a lot. Not bad. Not ten. No, these take one again. Slow but deadly. Alright, just keep your claws in. Oh, you're a happy cat. Just power through it. Power. Power through it. Power through it. Power. Ugh. Power through. You see level four. Well, power through. <laughs> Just collect things as you go. Power through it. Uh, he's protecting them. Uh, yeah, you do get stuck on walls pretty well. Atari 2600 do says this game would be even better if it was two-player er, two player co op like Gauntlet. <gasps> oh my god, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. This would be a great two player game because you could strategize about okay, you take that side, you take that side. Okay, I'm gonna finish off this Minotaur here. Who's gonna get the upgrade? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would be mean. Bido Empire has to keep going. He has to expand the amount of room this this game takes and make it two player and make it save as well. Nope, he has to upgrade the size. <laughs> so he is out of code space, but I, I insist. He has to make it two player now. Because <laughs> that would be so cool. No, what he has to do is make it four player and 
allow, well, it doesn't work with four player because you can only support one joystick button, unfortunately, on the um, Quattari. I was thinking four player, that's too many. But two player, that'd be awesome. But then you couldn't save. Yeah. Maybe he could, he could have a code. Like how many bits would it take to generate a code, right? You have, whoa, whoa a gray one. Is that the one you're talking about who's terrifying? <laughs> He's fast. Oh my God. Oh, shoot straight. Nope, not that one. Oh, he doesn't Somebody take Somebody else. Much. All right. Oh, fluffball cat. He moves fast, holy yeah. smokes. They are faster and take more hits. The ghosts are starting to show up outside the grave sites. They are. I saw one last screen. Left or right? Oh, there he is. <gasps> Blinking spiders. That's wonderful. That's the one, right? That's got to be it. Yeah, That's very be. cool. Disappearing blinking spiders. The game reminds me a little bit of Druid on the Commodore 64. Never played Druid. There's there was like a billion games for the C64. I played a lot of them. But not all of them. It was Dandy. Oh, Gauntlet Precursor. Released on the 800 or was it the C64? Um, well, the Gauntlet Precursor was released on the 2600 and 7800. And it was, it was, uh, what was it called? I have it. Chambers, Dark Chambers. Dark Chambers. Ah, I just beat you. Nope, just can't do you. that. <laughs> go, go, this, game, this room's fine. Go ahead, uh, go ahead and exit and come back in. It's okay. And you'll clear that room. Oh, do you have a key? Yes. No. Oh, you do? Oh, it was a necklace. You have up and upgraded. What was in there that you missed? Oh, just bird seed. Gold. <laughs> like bird five, seed. Five points. Oh, what was over here? I should probably look at the map. Yeah, with dark at the map? chambers. Oh, nothing. Oh, there. Mm. So you can go left, and that's new. I'll go up, because it looks like those are two dead ends. Up, then and, right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we'll do that. With dark chambers, um, you shot something, and then it changed into something lesser, and then it changed into something lesser. It was such a weird, a weird play mechanic. Mm -hmm. Like you would downgrade the enemy as you shot the enemy. Like in this, it would turn from that devil into like a bat, and then to a spider, and then it would disappear. It was very strange. And some people have hacked it into being Gauntlet um, from the 2600 version. So was it called Dandy on other machines? or And Dark Chambers on others? Or are those two separate games? I can't click on the link right now. Unfortunately, I guess I can look it up. Okay, so I hit a dead end? Yep. And then you go... Uh, back, uh, left, down, left, left. Okay. I think it was always called Dandy on computers, then the game name changed to Dark Chambers on console. Oh, okay. Let's see. And this is a dead end, so... Hmm. Um... Dandy video game. Later Dandy Dungeon. The Dan dungeon color for the Atari 8-bit. Um, later turned to Dark Chambers, home game played, published by Atari. It's weird. So it was Dandy for Atari 8-bit. Then they changed the name to Dark Chambers for other Atari systems. I mean, Dark Chambers is 100% better name than Dandy. That's a very strange name. Is it called Dandy? Somebody named Dandy? Oh, pff, 
The name Dandy is a play of, on D and D. That's still terrible. <laughs> D and D. That's so silly. Dandy. Two years after Dandy's release, Atari so. Games released Gauntlet, a project led by Ed Log. Are we uh, going to keep going? Uh, I have to backtrack now. Uh, I wanted to find just a quick exit if we found it, but... I... So it's right... We must have missed something. Right, 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 up, left, up, left, up, Oh, left, no, it's up. to the right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so right, 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 right. I was like, there's got to be a way out of that. <laughs> Ed Log said Dandy served as a direct inspiration for Gauntlet. Yeah, if you look at both, it's like, yeah, they are very, very similar. It's got little bits of music here and there. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. By the way, even in those rooms you cleared out, I believe the enemies will start to respawn back into the room again. They will. Oh. If, it, I, if you're... Um... If you stick around long enough? Yeah. Oh. There's a little glitch there. It looked like a little box appeared on the screen for a second. Three hit snaky. That's fine. Yeah. Getting cornered. Getting cornered. Oh! Shoot in a right. Shoot down. Uh, no, that's not what I want. What are you doing? do no, run away from him at least. Run, run, run. You're going to die. You're going to die. I'm not going to die. Oh, you have eight. You like lost so many hit points there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We're not getting past this level anyway. You might. <laughs> Just to see level four. Because oh, that's like the last level. I only get ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh, so cheap. I'm not gonna just escape. run. It's just points. Run. 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 Dandy was an APX game, Atari Program Exchange. So basically, a homebrew became an arcade coin op. Hmm. What is the Atari Program Exchange? Division of Atari that sold software via mail order for the Atari 8 bit family of home computers. Quarterly APX catalogs are sent to all registered Atari 8-bit uh, owners. So it was kind of a collective programming thing, and everybody's games got distributed to everyone else. Hmm. That's very, very cool. And I guess the good ones get... The popular ones got picked up, and... Uh, oh, they had contests as well. An award program, the Atari Star. Oh, that's a great name. That's such a great name. I have such a hard time with the shot angles sometimes. If I'm ever forced to change the uh, the logo on my awards, mm -hmm. I can change it into a star. In uh, in honor of that. I have two APX games. I bought them from KB's Toys. Ah. Die and regen with 30 health. Oh, so if you find a grave. Oh, I see. And you're low. What is the Ow. downside? Do you lose anything? You don't lose your weapons. You don't lose your power-ups. You just... And there's no lives in this, is there? Oh, there's those spiders. Flashy spiders. Mm -hmm. Crossbow says, nope. So... If you're down on health, just die. I guess you use up a uh, But you have to be by a grave, grave. Yeah. right? You have to be by it. You do. I don't know where I'm going. I, I know the map, is all, so I don't even know. This is all new, I think. Oh, it is all new. I just don't know if I should be going up. Should I be going down? I'm just matter. kind of running around. Dead nope, end. dead end. doesn't really matter. If they're both new, they're just as equally as good. And the gravestones go away once used, yeah. yeah. So if... If it's like really hard. Yay. Ooh, good. Then you can use your bow. A three level bow. Nice. Power through it. Level four. Come on. Are you 
Somebody takes more hits. Mm, with the bow? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they take more hits. Oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's not how this is gonna work. <laughs> it's, it's it's magic time. Mm -hmm. Well, you're you're the one who always uses the picks the magic user in games, right? I always like the magic user. They're the best. Because technically, they're always more powerful. They're not at the beginning. No, but after. they're terrible at the beginning. They're the weakest, worst character ever in the beginning. You die a lot in the beginning. Once and you then get up there, once you get your fireball spell up to level 20, destroy absolute destruction. Ugh. Get caught on those trees. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I'm caught. Your, robe, ah. your robe's caught. things i would go I'm oh done. it's a dead end here it's a dead end anyway. oh it is a dead end why was i even in there <laughs> i was about to give up i'm like yeah you play for a while <laughs> okay you need to see the level three sword the level i guess three it's sword? on this level mm -hmm. you just have to find them all uh so down i think i didn't go down before yeah. i don't think i don't know you can check the yeah, you don't. run just go as fast as you can through this there you go. Oh no, the blanky spider! Oh, you killed it. Well, it's not that hard. And that's a dead end too. Oh, okay. Now I have to backtrack even more. Wait till decision okay. point. <sighs> oh, the oh my god! Up, 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 up. Yeah. Up. And that's the that's the no. last of it. Up? No, up is a dead end. Oh, where are you? Oh, you're over there. Left. So you oh, have sorry, to go right. to the very right hand side. The right. Right, right, uh, right, right, right. Up and then left, up and then to the right. I always preferred the magic user in RPG parties. In Diablo, though, I used the hunter bow character. Love the bow mm. bear. Knockback. Knockback is good. It's good in this game, too, with the sword. That's for sure. But it's deadly. It's too deadly being that close quarters. And then it was up. Then left. And then it's just a straight path. And up. Yep. And then to the right. And then to the right. This is a decision point, and it's to the right still. Mm -hmm. And rip. And to the right. Just power through. Power through. Power through. There's nothing in you here. You want to play? You want to play some more? Okay. Oh, this is it. I don't know how you're going to kill those, but that's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just one at a time. You still don't have the sword, though. I think I'm going to switch to the... Nope this nope because it it's bounces more. it's more hits though it's really okay. annoying get out of the way get out of the way slow down oh, i almost want to reset this level but then you reset the four again and you're back what? to the beginning no if you die no, no, no. Go two back, yeah. then come back in here. But it doesn't matter. The stairs are open. Yeah, you're not giving the bonus. No. <laughs> so you just want to see level four? Yeah, just okay. just to see the monsters. Oh my god, it's dark. What is that thing? Oh my god. I thought it was gold. <laughs> oh. It's like dark in here. Oh, oh so you got some... Got some potions. Oh. Desperately made. So this is the last level, right, Crossbow? Eleven. And then he said. it. There are eleven mazes. No, he looped. Oh, he did them again? Yeah, he kept on playing and playing and playing. Ooh, yes. Crazy about that. Those are ice blocks. Cool. I haven't seen those wiggly things. They weren't at all in the last level, were they? 
No, we tentacles. didn't run into them. They probably leveled up now. Oh, God. Die. At least the last room over is. Oh, my God. I noticed it's easier to shoot With when you're moving. Oh yes, it is. It doesn't than always when you're shoot. Standing still. It's not always shooting when you're. Yeah, when you're moving, you get more shots off. Like so, if I keep doing this, mm. it's faster. Yeah. That's annoying. That is, a, yeah, a little bit. So I think that's a bug. Maybe. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to shoot as fast as you can when you're moving. Well, then I'm just going to be doing this wiggly thing, which is cheating. And you might as well make it so you're just as fast moving when you're not moving. So it's just being annoying. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, kitties. Oh, you're wanting food? Well, it's not time for food. It's not even close time for food. He's like, I know you have treats. Uh, that is true. Uh, I know. You're you're hiding treats in this room somewhere. Mm, hiding? I wouldn't say hiding. Okay. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. I have to shoot kittens while defending the HDMI cables from the cats. Oh, he's acting out. <laughs> oh, is that upgrade? Yep. Two. All right, level Whoa. four. Ooh, oh my you're god! Getting killed. He came out of nowhere, right on top of me. That was cheap, cheap, a cheap, a cheap. Level four. I think fireball is your way to go right oh, now. Oh yeah. I'm glad I was able to get a, a level four thing. Yeah. Don't have a key, though. No. Don't Hi, are you purry? Don't have a key. Are you purry? Just gonna go to the end of the game. Because we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a chance. At least so you can see the, the bad guy at the end. Yeah. Oh, sword. Yep, well, I'm Might definitely well get getting... level three. Any upgrade I'm getting. Yeah, if you run into it. <sighs> they definitely guard it. Yeah. I think that's what he was saying. They all appear around it. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of have to kill them. Stop. Okay, I'll try the sword. Oh, it's only level two. I don't have enough very upgraded sword. I thought I had at least level two. Oh, because no, I'm getting a, a sword. You, you have level three now. But the thing is... Oh my god. When did I get this? It's the sword? No, it's fire bolts. No, isn't it the sword? Oh, or is that your... oh it is the sword. The sword is a... Is a... Ooh. You mean splash damage? That is level uh, 3 sword. Nice. That's why. Unlimited power. Oh, it sucks. Well, compared to your level 4 <laughs> fireball. And you have to be close still. Because I just want to see things, not die. Run, 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 run. I'll get that. If it's available, I will snag it. Eh? Oh, what is this? Staff of... Oh, that was a, th a thing. A thing I needed. Is it? I'm sure it's a an artifact. Artifact. Yeah, because it was giving me a funny noise. Palpatine lightning! <laughs> it's cool looking, but I think level 4 would be a bit more effective. It is cool looking, though. They need more range. Give you that. More range, please. I like the lasting power of it, but it doesn't seem to do much. I just... Calm down. Calm. Calm, Grey Calm Kittens. Down. Calm, Calm Grey Kittens. Come on. I know. I know. Oh, I don't have a key. Anymore. I can't open No, you don't. It's just sad. You've run into two treasure boxes already and have no key. Sad, 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 sad. The mapping looks better, textured. Ooh. Uh, Level four sword is like the a... same, but it shoots out in front of you like a fireball. Ooh. But you're not gonna get one of those. There's a key. Because you missed the sword in the last level, so. I'll take that key. You can go back. I will. Because it might be something good. Do it. Doubtful, but it might be. Oh, it's a lot of points, I guess. Usually it is. 
Let's use it on this just to have some fun. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, eh. To be so close to them. And it doesn't knock them back. So F that. F that. I think it took a fair chunk out of them though. I wonder if I'm hitting these guys. I am! Ha ha ha! Gauntlet returned. <laughs> you can do this in Gauntlet. Where, oh. you, where you shoot through uh, diagonals and they can't get you. Yep. That's so funny. Ah, ha, ha. Losers. <laughs> ah, teasing them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> does it remember diagonals? Oh, it does too. Oh, it's painful. Mm. Oh, it needs to be fixed. It feels like my button is broken. Yeah, it's weird. It's very slow if oh. you're not moving. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Or maybe once a time. Like there's a delay. Like it resets a delay if you move. I feel like this... Um uh the joystick is getting um, Ooh, level four hours a, a lot workout. of use a uh, workout yeah today. it's yeah. wrecking my joystick <laughs> early early death for joystick my really expensive joystick Ooh, i'll take that fireball's better right it is better slower and stand it i just it's just the it's just the fireball though yeah. it's not the arrow the arrow doesn't do that like, no I can, I can you're fire. right you're at look at that like massive fire rate but the fireball's like no no you have to move this is way faster look at that it may be weaker but you can you, it's not annoying Oh god. Oh, you're almost dead. I need to go back too, and then go back into that room. Thank you. Clear it out. The clearing still works. Just need to try harder. <laughs> I am. I'm one more touch away from death. <gasps> oh, go to the no, map. Pause go to the map. Go to the it, map. You it. pause it. I have to run. Uh, here. Oh, oh no! Nope. Can you go through walls? No. No, not that kind of wall. Oh, you're screwed. There's nothing nearby. You're gonna die. Just have to take a chance and go down. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do it. Find the gravestone. How much time do I have left? Where's my timer? Oh, 16, 14, hmm. 13, 12, 11, 9... <gasps> Eight. Man, oh it got my me ahead gosh. Too. It actually helped because yeah, it went through a lot of walls. Went through, Woof. went through a lot of that walls. That was a lucky. Yep. You get 30, not 50. So. <sighs> it's not full health, but it's yeah, pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Wipes the sweat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do I have a key? I, I think I do. I'm not sure. Nice. I've got a goblet. Chalice. Or it looked like a martini glass. <laughs> it's a martini. We'll take that. Yeah. Run. Run. Just run through it. Just run, run through away. it. Just run through everything. I want to get to the exit or the whatever, the evil wizard. Left to right, left to right. Open, open. Ten seconds. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, time's digging. Yep. Run. Run. Ooh, bats. Fast bats. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Overwhelmed. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's just go around them. Let's go for the slow minotaurs. Pick up that. I like the snakes. Yeah. I really do. Very cute. Load up the arrows as I run. Just a barrage of arrows no. precede me. Excellent. Now I'm above 35. Get 35. around that minotaur. So slow. He Just is slow. Taking his time. Slow. Trudge, 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 trudge. He's like, I don't need to move fast. There we go. Okay, go. Look at the map. Okay. You're trying to get to the pink? Yeah. Ooh, I have to go right. Right. And then you probably end up going down and around. Yep. Then. Okay. Right and then down whenever I can. Okay. Whoa, what? Yeah, Arrows that was a two mistake. at a time? I don't think so. I think that might have been a glitch. Arrows? Ooh, interesting. Whoa. Yeah. Load him up. Oh yeah, Arrows is the king. He obviously made fireballs that way on purpose because arrows don't work that way. No. So maybe it's not a mistake. Like he maybe wants fireballs they're them to, be, to be slower but are, more powerful. They are more powerful. Yeah. I'll give them that, but I just keep I going the way you are. I keep crossbow. Going. Yep. You just want to see the bad dude at the end. Flash is do, 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 do. Oh, oh, is it up or left? Go, go, go! Left. Okay. Like things are chasing me now. I I can't see, and you're not pressing there might pause. Be something up there, but yeah. ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful. What was that? Oh. Did something hurt me? No. Oh yeah, that thing hurt you. You ran into it. Yep. Run, 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 run. Oh, flashing spider. spider. Flashing spider. The walls helped me. Here it is, the ultimate showdown. Load Run away! Keep on the edges. That's what they were saying. Run! Oh my gosh! Oh, you're faster than you know. Shoot the walls! Shoot the walls! They bounce oh. back. What are you doing? Yeah. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Load them up with those arrows. Bounce them off the walls. There we go. That was easy. That was way too easy. <laughs> Woohoo! Vito Empire needs to make it much harder. You oh that guy at the end? I shot him like. Yeah. Ten times, maybe? Yeah. Maybe twelve? Da 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 da. Woohoo! I mean, there's plenty missed along the way. Uh, very, very cool game. Love it. Oh, 103,000. Okay, so. Good. I will die by that. Because that's a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe like, wow. Where uh, he can warp, warp around the screen. Yes. Yeah. Like he can disappear mm -hmm. and then go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're going to die. That's fine. And it's easy to get ambushed by enemies and be too far from a gravestone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's true. Wizard of War. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. Um, I love the flashing. Fine gravestone. Fine gravestone. <laughs> six. Five. Almost permadeath time. Two. One. Nice. Oh, nice colors. Very nice. Rank wizard. Thank you, redheaded stepmom. Oh, <laughs> hung on. Yes. Thank you so much for watching the whole thing. Yes. Number one <laughs> out of all the zeros. The default scores are zero. Yeah. Oh, what did I get? It was a long episode it's tonight. Like something, something wizard. 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 I got the rank of wizard yes. or something? Because I beat the first level? Yeah. At normal, maybe? I got all of them. We got all of them. Did we? All of them. Yep. Yeah. Even though we just they missed crazy. a lot of other things, but yep. yeah. Long episode. Yes, well, it was. That's what happens when you... Needed more pixel. He fully, ran off. Fully complete two <laughs> games. Yeah. 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 Pixel, pixel uh, you have to entice him down. Maybe I'll see... That'll get them. Oh, you can hear them running. 
How long was that? Three seconds from sleeping upstairs. Hi. Hi, come here. I'm going to go in the cat kennel. There's the cat kennel. Here, let's get them both in the cat kennel. <laughs> there you go. Let's see if we can get them both in. Full here. screen bell. <laughs> oh, scary oh. cat. Ring that bell. Ding ding a ling a ling a ling. He's too scared. Uh, so a wizard's so. dungeon. What do, what needs? I, it's pretty well balanced. I thought it was too easy to kill the bet the end guy. That's my biggest thing. I think he needed to be at twice as hard for sure. Pixel. I think. Sorry, I'm trying to entice the the black and white cat. He's 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 standing outside the door going, no, I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust whatever is happening here. Let him ring the bell. So they can see it on full on camera. Oh, he's wary. He is wary. Oh, now they're not ringing the bell. You can't feed them and ring the bell. He has to come ring no, the bell. No, they, they, it's an association. I tend to stay up until at least midnight or 1 a.m. on most nights anyway. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know where. Are you in the West Coast? Well, that. Or maybe East Coast then. Because it's three Coast, hours ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Change the way the arrow bounces. Uh, man. Uh, no, I, I, I like it. More differentiation of the weapons. When would you use a sword? That's true. I found no reason to use the sword it was too deadly it's too dangerous it yeah. wasn't powerful enough maybe if it was more powerful yes i would maybe a touch but we didn't get the upgrades all the upgrades yeah. so I, that's something oh, we need to play it had the, the zapper at that oh level. that was cool but it still wasn't it, powerful enough level four was fireball um crossbow was saying shoots like a fireball oh. level four sword so we didn't really see all of i still it. don't think at any level it was powerful enough the sword because i never used it you want at to keep all. your distance as much as possible i think yeah. that's just it but yeah maybe up close if you're flipping then maybe it's better yeah hey hey the pea shooter um really it's only good to the beginning there's had no reason i f i can find to ever use it again right like if you've got the fireball and the arrow mm -hmm. why would you ever go back to that pea shooter I don't know. We didn't play with it, though. We didn't We didn't play around with them to see if they were I, better in certain I, I circumstances. I went for it for a second, and it was like, oh, this isn't killing them. Nah. I'm going back to my I think we fast need. I think we need to play it again, is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, get everything. You know, like, like oh, run through the Oh, if the sword the hit multiple enemies, that would be an advantage, but it still needs to be more powerful, because I was, I was getting hit. Yeah, I definitely, definitely... There was uh, a high chance of being hit when using the sword, there was no chance of being hit when using the arrow, and it only took a little bit longer. Yeah. The arrow and even or, the fireball, the, fireball. the projectiles are just, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Getting your kitty fix. Yay! <laughs> There's the, the kitties. kitties are here. <laughs> There's a full screen of kitties <laughs> and Atari consoles. Yes. What could be better? Yeah. Uh, but we have to switch away. Yeah. Oh, not yet. That's so high. That is. Oh, you're, yeah, it is a bit high. There we go. That's better. And then over a bit. Oh, up that way. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it was too high. Um, um, so that's my um, suggestions for Wizard's Dungeon. Oh, tougher end boss. That yeah, was surprisingly you, you, you that. easy. Yeah, you got through that pretty quick. He needs to either be more powerful, like more hit points, or do something. Like, every once in a while, he jumps to another part of the screen, like yeah. in front of you all of a sudden. Yeah. Like the direction you're moving. And then you have to reverse course quick. Yeah. Something like that. Or he has another weapon. Because he's just trying to touch you, right? He doesn't... He doesn't throw mm. anything. What did he throw anything? I don't think so. He just so. wanted to, yeah. to zap. He was just like, chasing you around the yeah. room. And he was fast. Or he spawns like an enemy once in a while. 
Like he makes an enemy. Maybe. But that might be too tough, actually. Mm. Or he becomes a ghost and then you can't shoot him. You have to dodge him. Ooh. Yeah. Every once in a while becomes a ghost. And then Act, you're like, after ah. every After every X hits. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to dodge him and then he comes And then back. you can shoot him again. Something, yeah. like, Something that. like that. Yeah. yeah. Like those would be simple. But I mean, yeah. those are fairly big changes. Oh, yeah. That he doesn't really have room for. I, I don't so. want to criticize it too much because no, no, no. I really enjoy it. No, it's <laughs> great. It. it was a really fun It's, it's just fun game. Um, balancing. Yeah. Balancing. I, I, I would say the, the, um, the boss at the end does probably need to be Double a bit the harder points. or, uh, as you say, have, have a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Play Everything well, else. But it summons other enemies. Would it's be good great. Too. Yeah. Maybe change into the enemy type. You Ooh. have to defeat him first before he turns in the wizard form. Maybe. Maybe. That's not bad. Yeah. Very much like Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Chambers. Yeah. 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 Or, or once in a while, he can change into those and then he changes back. Like mm. he can um, shape shift. Yeah. Like in Mario games where, oh, you have to hit him three, three rounds of killing yes. him. Yeah. Yeah. No, all those are very, very good suggestions. So hopefully he watch. I'm sure he'll watch this whole thing um, after to, to look and see how we played. Um, so uh, Space Venture. Um, I don't know if there's any way he can prevent the things that happened from happening. <laughs> like I, I even even well, one so... thing is going off the screen like that can stop from happening. Like it went off the screen into Nowheresville. It, yeah, it we're needs, not sure where it ended up. It needs up. to stop at the edge of the screen for sure. But I mean, other than that, I think... It was pretty fair. It was a pretty fair game. And we figured out how to beat it even with those those issues. So, yeah. uh, I don't know. It, it was it's cool. Good. I liked yeah. it. Yeah. It's very much in the spirit of adventure. Yes. Yeah. In space. Yeah. It's like uh, Erlen says, everything's better in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he? <laughs> yeah, when we're when we're playing games and we have a space game, he's like, in space, yeah. <laughs> it's better in space. <laughs> Adventure in space, it's so good. Um, Cosmic Cabby, it's great. It just needs all the other levels oh, yeah. to be it implemented. Looks really good. Couple yeah. more voices. That's that's it. Yeah, it's good to go. Yeah. Uh, it's one of your favorite games. I'm sure you're looking is. forward to seeing oh, more levels if he ever gets around so to it. So looking forward to yeah. it, yeah. Yeah. But in again, in the original adventure, you can make stuff disappear into rooms you can't access. Okay, mm. well, we don't really want that. <laughs> but we were able to beat it with missing items. Like, they were gone. Like, you never saw them But again. we were able to get them back, yeah. The bat got them, or whatever it was. Yeah. Got them back. The robot. The, the robot. robot. Yeah. I actually found the egg room using the bridge in a spot one day where I could go through the room and see it as long as I pressed down on the controller. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, except he would start as a spider, then the snake or something eventually be the minotaur, then the ghost, then the wizard. Yeah, mm. that would work too. Yeah. Mm. Um, so some fun, fun games. Two of them, kind of the beginnings. And mm. this one is very close to the end. So really, really fun gorgeous it yep. looks really good it does yeah yeah very distinct look like the graphics are very this game like very different than a lot of other games next episode on tuesday we have another exclusive world premiere uh it is doom 2600 doom for the 2600 interesting and it is first person perspective wow uh, <laughs> I uh, don't know what else we're going to be playing that yeah. show. I'll have, I'll have to figure it out. Then back to 7,800 games. Uh, right now I've scheduled Worm, Into the Void, Dungeon Stalker, and Get Lost. Probably won't change too many of those. Um, then I don't know what we'll be playing for 2,600 after that. Then the next Friday mm -hmm. is the developer spotlight on Bob DeCrescenzo. Tanya's going to practice her pac-man Pac before that <laughs> i'm so excited uh arena foot yes he did send it to me thank mm -hmm. you very much um so i am good to go unless he sends another updated version then we're gonna play serpentine the heartlight and then another 7800 game there's a lot of 7800 games backlogged mm -hmm. i'm gonna do a list compress down trebor's finished homebrew list to just the homebrews and see which ones i haven't played 
Uh, and then we've got a lot of episodes before the Champ Games exclusive world premiere of a secret new homebrew. Mm. Nobody knows what it is except probably Nathan Strum, who worked on the graphics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And John Shampo. Yes. And possibly a musician and composer. A couple of other people. Sound effects yeah. person, possibly. <laughs> yeah. And then we go on summer break because, you know, we need to do things. <laughs> summer. Relax. Well, I wouldn't say summer break. We're not well, quite in summer late yet. spring late break. Late spring break. Yes. Having a couple of weeks off. A couple of weeks off. Yeah. I'm going for a while. Yep. And then other things after that that are on the list. Uh, so thank you, everybody. Yeah, Pixel says hello. Yeah. Come here. He's oh, I could have put him on cat cam. Oh, no. no it's too no, late. No, no, okay. I want to show him on the big camera. Duke Nukem on Genesis Mega Drive ran at 10 frames a second. Oh, I Doom know, 2600 mad. is going to be one frame a second. I know you're mad. Oh, Crossbow says thank you and great show as usual. Yeah. Oh, Mad Cat. Oh. Uh, I gave you treats, oh, thank though. Thank you for watching. Ow, ow, oh, ow, ow. let that skunk cat go. No. He's angry. He's angry. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Crossbow, Captain Classic, Arena Foot, Vitoko, Marco Johannes, uh, Red-Headed Stepmom. Oh, 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 oh he's, he's vicious. He's not happy. Metal Lunar oh. 7. Oh, he knows where to bite. Yeah. No hard. Dan <laughs> AVC. Oh, yeah, we have some um, challenges as well from Dan's... Um, Harmony games. Oh, okay. So uh, I'll throw those in on the 26 okay. days. Cool. Don't know what's next, but I'll have to look it up. Uh, deactivated Classic. Styles. I supposed to... Oh, I read his message, but I didn't uh, notice his name. Yeah. was playing. Uh, who Atari else? 2600 oh. Dude was in there. Oh. I don't know if you said their name. Uh, maybe, maybe Metal not. Neil Media, 1974. Welcome. Lots of peoples. Thank you, wow, everybody, for excellent. watching. It was a long show. It was. It, it was. was a fun show. And like, that's why we did a long show, because it was fun. I feel like a lot of people stayed with us, though. There are I quite did. a few people in the chat still. So Yeah, staying yeah. up late. Minotaur. Uh-huh. Minotaur? Minotaur. Minotaur. Oh, Minotaur. Yes. <laughs> that's our secret word for today. It is. So, um, But you don't want to say it right at the end. No? Because people will skip right to the end. Oh, no. Right? Well, so I have ruined it then. Well, this is the first time we've done it, so it actually okay. doesn't ruin it. Okay. But it will ruin it for next time. <laughs> so you can't say it right at the end. Uh, Word of the day. Yes. Yes. Um, so we'll be back on Tuesday, same time, same channel, same cats. Same cats. <laughs> and yeah, about two thirds or three quarters into the show. That's about the right time. Gotcha. But you don't, you want to move it around a bit. Right? Yeah. Not always the same time. Yeah. Especially with a three hour, a four hour show today. Oh my God. Is yeah. it? Yeah, oh my goodness, it's almost 10. Yeah. Well, thank you for all of you on the East Coast who who are yeah. who stayed up late. Yep. And um, Or went to bed and then got up again. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but we'll see you next time and thanks for hanging out. Bye. Bye everyone. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend.